that's... Um... Thanks, Auto Drive. Wow, that was not a good shot. Uh, Ooh! I'm hit! My mech is coming apart around me. I stand corrected. Damn. And that blew the surprise. Now the raiders know I'm here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, and I'm saved up here too. Oh my god. Holy crap, guys. The 30th anniversary edition. Oh my god. I used to play this game, the this edition of the game. I still have my book back there. Look at this. Can you this, this is unbelievable. I love the really close up view. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft, average speed, warp 5.7. She's a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. How many times do I hear that a day? Nope, can't take all of us right before I take all of them. There we go. Spider Man one, robbers zero. Well, that escalated quickly. Uh, oh, you... Uh-oh. God, that was... I like that. <laughs> Good job, everyone. That ought to keep the Imperials off our back for a little while longer. You have our leader. It seems I misjudged you. Can you forgive me? Hey, I just painted this thing. Oh my god, the timing! He looked at me funny, what can I say? Uh, we're gonna be taking our first look. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
That's amazing. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, shoot. I forgot that melons are not a summer cr or not a spring crop. Which means I can't get any more unless I can recover some. Let's see. I can't believe I killed it. Gotcha. Now watch a courier show up again. Amulet of Lost Voices. Speak with dead. The dead hold no secrets from Durgle's Scriveners of Doom. I love... These oh my god. Oh my god. Scriveners of Doom is the best title ever. Okay, what do I have to do with this? Oh, I think that was just the thing that delivered the thing for the thing. recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I am speculating whether, if you went far enough out or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equals three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying mass of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> that works. Oops. Twenty-five percent of it units destroyed, so that means there's only four. Whatever is launching those LRMs is the last. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. I should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. You live alone with this droid. He is the personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. Uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Uh. What are these clowns thinking they're doing? Oh, my God. Did I actually get one? Hey, guys. Yeah, 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 Drop the anchor. Drop the anchor! I'm not... I'm fixing a hole. Drop the oh, anchor. No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Did, no. did somebody drop the anchor finally? Or? Drop <laughs> the freaking anchor. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. 
So we're gonna clip of that one. I'll skin you and make a purse for my wife! Advantage of that, but that was too funny. There's the other connector. What's the point of putting stuff around if I can't blow it up? See, that's much better. That stuff serves a useful purpose. We ready? Happy New Year! There we go. And I even have champagne to toast. Goodbye, 2021. But it was stream-related stuff, and it went incredibly well, so I'm very happy with the results. There we nice. Fight or flight, sometimes the best strategy is to run away. I got news for you, game. I'm on a motorcycle. But the, whoa! I was on a motorcycle. Never mind. Mass Effect is much bigger than just Shepard. I forgot the grease is flammable. Oh, he's been like that for an hour now. Passed out cold. He'll come around. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Hmm. I guess that's the end of the game then. <laughs> but with him being the main character and all, funny. <laughs> I didn't think you could die in LucasArts Adventure Games. Well, wow. maybe they're trying something different. When I should take care of him? Would you? It's bad for business having him just lie there. Wow. Rest in peace and all that. Wow. The end. <laughs> hey. I'm not really dead. <laughs> This is so good. I prayed to the gods, and when they pulled it out, there you were. What is going on in the background there? What was that explosion? Let's see if I can stay alive on a scooter with no auto drive. Whoops. Whoop. The answer is no. I don't know where we're going with this. I'm a little nervous. Because of his sunburn, the map on Palado's back is peeling off. Oh. Thank you, Tagarog. Uh. 
I really wish I didn't have to do that. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> Not what I was going for, Aloy. I'll save this for a dire. That's what I wanted. What? What on earth is Good evening, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. This evening, we are going to play some Star Trek Online. And I should point out that tonight begins our 2,500th stream on this channel. Which just absolutely blows my mind. All right, so I hope everyone is doing well. We're going to load in here. Uh, do we have audio? Yes, it's all turned on. That's good. Audio levels, okay. Mic looks like it's working. I think we're all set. I almost feel like I've forgotten how to stream. It hasn't even been that long. It's only been a couple of days. Hope everyone's had a good week and is gearing up for a good long weekend. Those of us that have it anyway. People in the US and Canada are, are going to tend to have long weekends because we have Canada Day tomorrow and our American neighbors to the south have their 4th of July thing coming up. So... Uh, we are going for Captain, actually, Lieutenant Commander Remak. So we want to load in for the crew of the USS Alexandria. Well, why did I not hear that beam in? What the heck? Excuse me. Audio. Overall volume. I'll just make a few adjustments here. I can't hear a thing. What the heck? I have what I sort of. Also, there. That's weird. I can't hear anything. How's it going with I? It's good to see you. Let me quit this. And we'll relaunch it and see what's going on. So how's your week been? Mine is apparently starting off with all technical issues completely intact. That sounds right. There we are. So we have to go and we've got to check out the new bridge because I have a new bridge. It was recommended to me by a friend who plays this a lot, so we're going to go check it out. It's a different bridge layout than I had been using before. Welcome to the new bridge. Oh, here's our new Klingon science officer. 
We picked her up the last time I streamed it, if I remember correctly. So, captain's chairs, lots of big command posts up here. Looks like our chief medical officer spends most of her time on the bridge. Oh man, that's really sad, actually. Uh, I don't want to get too much into it for the benefit of those who have not seen the episode, but... <clears throat> Man, this week's episode of Strange New Worlds. Oof. The lower deck of the bridge? This is still the bridge. This is almost like a ready room attached to the bridge with all these info displays, and we've got Elisa Flores down here, and Tavrell, I believe. Is that her name? Yeah, Tavrell, who's hanging out down here, too. <laughs> oh, hey, Wittai. You had muted it. Yeah, that'll happen. Oh, that's the turbo lift on this bridge. The only thing I'm I'm not a giant fan of this detached view screen. For some reason, I don't love that. I mean, I love the giant dome window that's part of the bridge. But I I don't know why, but I don't like the way this view screen looks. I don't even know that it's necessarily that it's detached. I just like I I don't love the proportions, if that makes sense. Like, I guess it's not so bad if you look at it from back here. It just looks so weird when you're up close and it's all... angled and... it looks out of proportion. And then the ready room is basically the exact same room. They just transposed it into this model of the bridge. But yep, that's the bridge. Now, I don't think I've actually gone and looked at the other parts of the ship. Okay, so this is <laughs> basically exactly the same. I don't know why this should surprise me. They really don't seem to want to put a whole lot of effort into the other parts of the ship. They really only care about the exteriors, and occasionally they'll put some real effort into making a really nice fancy bridge, but... It's never gonna stop bothering me that the rest of the ship is basically an afterthought. And also that the rest of the ship is Frickin' humongous. Was that the turbo lift? No. That's sick bay. We were right opposite it. Wait, weren't we? What the heck? See, it's big enough that you can get a little bit lost, but I don't want to get a little bit lost. I want to get completely lost for hours. Yeah, exactly, Wittai, exactly. Okay, so, um, there is a special event going on. We are going to ignore our assignments for the moment. And warp to sector space. We have to go take a little bit of a vacation over on Ryza. <clears throat>
So I think one of the things you missed when you had the stream muted with Ty is I had asked how your week has been. I hope everything's going well for you. Hey, Mad, how's it going? I'm doing pretty all right. How are things with you? No, we're not going to Pico. Sleepy since I haven't slept great the last few nights, but eventually things go back to normal. Oh, that sucks, Mad. I had a little bit of that this past week, so I kind of know how you feel. Planning to go watch the first stage of Tour de France. Oh, very nice. I hope that goes well. How many stages are there? I'm not super familiar with it. Oh, you know what? While we're in transit, looks like I've got duty officer stuff. Develop countermeasures to Davidian attacks. So we had success. Let's view the details. Progress was made towards Davidian countermeasures. Zero gravity combat training, that failed. Create map of longitudinal social trends in the Klingon Empire, that failed. Process regional survey data of archaeological site, that also failed. Assign security detachment to delegation to Dominion. The security team enabled the meeting to be a success. Infiltrate the Orion Syndicate. Rare assignment success. Your officers successfully infiltrated the Orion Syndicate and escaped with actionable intelligence data. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. You are an asset. Espionage Commendation Rank. You are consider your considerable accomplishments are acknowledged. So we got experience, expertise, and espionage rank one. It's mostly my wife who's interested in Tour de France or sports, so I really don't know. That's fair. That's fair. Up uh, twenty-one sages. Damn. Okay, um, just a moment, we'll get to you, Ryza. Establish long-distance trade routes, that didn't work out. Okay, so, interrogation resistance program. The training program was successful with no significant problems. Good job, Tendi. Telepathic interrogation resistance program with Mariner and Boimler. The training program was successful with no significant problems. Uncover intelligence leak. Critical success, ooh. View details. While monitoring KDF movements, it has become obvious that we have a leak at Starfleet Command on Earth. Uncover them using the means at your disposal. Awesome, okay. Oh, hang on. That's cool. Oh, that's a... Uh, okay. I thought that was somebody using an Odyssey very kitted out the same as mine, but not quite. Not quite. All uh, right, how... 
Can I not? <clears throat> you are cleared to beam down to the surface. Beam to summer resort or classic beach. We're going to go to the resort. Welcome to Ryza Remek. We're hosting a special festival and you, you've arrived at the perfect time. Of course, every day is a perfect day on Ryza. I'm the events coordinator in charge of the special contest that can reward you a great prize. Come talk to me over by the resort and I'll tell you how to participate. In the meantime, enjoy all that our planet has to offer. Get out there and fly. Time's wasting. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we look horribly out of place in our uniform. I don't know that I can actually change that just yet. Oh, accolade complete. Walk the boardwalk. That was easy. Wait, hang on. I don't think I can do this just yet. Uh, how do I get special vacation clothes? You can earn special outfits by purchasing them with Lonuat favors. Speak to a local vendor when you have earned enough favors and know what you want to try. The Horgan Hunt and the Dance Competition are great ways to earn favors. Oh boy. I don't know that we're gonna necessarily do a lot of the dance contest, because honestly that gets a little bit dull. Ryza Floater and Dorian Blue Boras. Okay, we can't afford that, but we can rent a Ryza Floater. There we go. You can get better ones than this, but uh, this will do for a start to help us earn some stuff. This is something they do every year. I've done it a few times before. But I think they also change a few things up every once in a while. Like, there's usually a flying course right around here that I'm not seeing. Which is kind of interesting. Oh, we have a giant jellyfish. Shades of Encounter at Firepoint. Where's the promenade? There we go. 
Well, wait. Isn't this where I just was? What the heck? Power border. How do I participate in the power board race? I'll call out when the race is about to start. You'll have a minute to make it to the starting gate downstairs. When you get there, just signal that you want to join the race. <clears throat> Once you join the race, you'll see the course buoys and lane markers. These will guide you through the gates toward the finish. You don't have to stay inside the lanes to stay in the race, but the lane markers will help you to know which way to go. Once you reach the end of the race, you'll see a flag on a buoy near the water. Grab the flag to place. Stay in the water. If you crash and go too far inland, you'll be disqualified. Activating a floater during the race will also disqualify you. Okay, when does the race happen? I'll call for racers to assemble at 15 minutes after the hour. So that's 20 minutes from now, and again at 38 minutes after the hour. You know what? Maybe we'll just do submissions. The Ryza thing is fun, but it, I'm just starting to remember that it actually is very time-consuming and tends to involve an awful lot of waiting. So this might not, you know, it might not be the best stream activity. <clears throat> Not now, but thank you. You thought last week was a low point. Wow. Well, I guess, you know, everyone has their own taste and whatnot. I thought it was the one that cemented Strange New Worlds as the best Trek show that we've ever had. I really, really thought it worked on every level. It was great. But this week's... Wow. I don't want to get spoilery. It was another great one. I've loved every episode so far this season. I'm a little bit shocked that it was not the season ender. It really, in a lot of ways, felt like it was. I'm very curious to see what they're going to throw at us next week. Oh, see... For me, I absolutely revel in Star Trek when it gets campy. It's one of the things that makes it Star Trek for me. And it's one of the th reasons that it's harder for me to get invested in some of the... Like, I, I like the other modern Trek shows, but... The camp is what makes Strange New Worlds feel like real Star Trek to me. Uh, where is my... Well, let's first of all, I got promoted, so let's do a little bit of skill buying. Can I? Maybe? I went back to check the episode count and 9 didn't seem like the right number. No, I thought it was the 10th episode too. So that's got me real curious what next week is going to be like. <clears throat> Where the heck is my quest log? Do we have... Missions... Open, wait, is this... 
available. That's what we want. Or, oh, go to the Nopata system, which is located in the Psy Valorium sector block, and search for a missing Riemann vessel. Nopata in Psy Valorium. Okay, well, I don't see Psy Valorium anywhere. This looks like the Gasco sector, but I won't question it. It was really good. I, I, I really liked the episode. I appreciated both the similarities to a classic favorite film series as well as some of the highly plot and seasonal arc significant character changes that came about because of one critical difference. So that was kind of cool. I like it when they take something familiar and mix it up just a little bit to screw with your expectations and deliver a really neat twist, even if the twist happens to a character that I really, really like. Love that they've gone back to some of the successful formulas of the original, yes. Yes, very much so. Oh, very much so. That is where Strange New Worlds... I, I mean, there are so many things it's doing right, but my god, the casting is just unbelievable. Resurgence Tau Duo. Not sure what that's all about. The other side, Dilithium Experience Expertise Crafting Pack. Oh, I guess I'm high enough level now that I can actually do those, huh? You know what? I've never actually done one of these before. Never. I may regret this.
Oh, wow. I uh, I didn't realize that the Ryza event was so close to ending. 11 a.m. July 30th. That's tomorrow, isn't it? Technically, ac oh, wait. Isn't it supposed to actually be done now? It's now officially July. For me, at least. Deep Space Encounter. Okay, Terran Frigate. Terran? Oh, boy. All right. Looks like we've got ourselves a mirror universe incursion over here. Jim Racer! Oh my god. You picked the perfect moment to arrive. I just started a battle. But welcome on in, Raiders. How are you doing? Jim, how was your stream? Tell me all about it. Do I even need to ask what you were playing this evening? I don't need to ask, do I? Welcome on in, Jim. I will get you a shout out. We'll do the raid video and everything in just a moment. I just have to take care of these interlopers. It won't take very long at all. As I said. There we go. Uh, okay, they're a little while away. While they're still trying to catch up. Welcome on in, Raiders. My name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a lot of story-driven games with excellent character development and narrative structure. Uh, I also play strategy games and sandboxy games, and I've been dabbling a bit more lately in classic retro RPGs and adventure games, so if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. Uh, if you've n never been here before, I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. This might not be the ideal time for me to play it, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. I apologize if I get yanked into battle. Was continuing to level up my Federation character after a little shore leave on Ryza. Oh, you actually did that. I I was trying to do a little bit of that on stream, but it was taking so long to get anything accomplished that I just kind of gave up on it after a bit. So we're doing a deep space encounter right now, my first one ever, and then we're going to go back to doing some storyline stuff on the Federation side. So, um... Yeah, guys, if you're not following Jim Racer, he's been a longtime friend of the channel. He plays a lot of Star Trek and a lot of other awesome games, and this battleship is starting to drift a little too close. Might have to hold off on the raid video until we blow it out of the stars. Yeah, he's coming over here, isn't he? Shoot, okay. Right after this battle... Has he got backup? Who's firing over there? What the heck? That's cheating, sir.
Damn it. Okay. Or, no. I promise we will get to the video very shortly. I didn't expect this to be non-stop combat. <laughs> dimension is now under the rule of the Terran Empire. Oh god. Tiny fighters and shuttles. Okay, you can exit deep space encounters with no repercussions. They're just bonus XP and... Oh! Excellent. Okay. Well, how do we do that then? Because that sounds like something I definitely need to do. This is fun and all, but I thought there was going to be a story component to it. And it kind of just looks like we're mostly just battling it out which you know I have no problem with that that's fine that's cool it is gonna kind of get it in the way though also I'm taking a bit of a beating Click the little galaxy symbol in the up left. Oh, this thing. Okay. No! Damn it! I aborted! Okay, we might be at this for a little bit, but I promise we will do the video. I promise. Now, let's see if we can get out of here. Yes. No! <laughs> what the hell? Damn it. Every time.
I'll take it. Oh, hey. Mission complete. Okay. There. Ooh, zero point quantum chamber mark four. Very cool. I'll have to see if that's good. Uh, also, disruptor dual cannons. I don't really use those. But it looks like we can get out of here now, possibly. Okay. We're just going to sit here. And thank you again, Jim. I really appreciate the raid. Uh, like I said, I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you all in properly. Hopefully, it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. 16-9. Four factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that one. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. So thank you, thank you again, Jim. Now, we got ourselves a new piece of loot that I thought looked kind of cool. Phaser Relay Mark IV, 11.3 phaser damage. Zero point quantum chamber, nine point four quantum projectile. We don't have any of that. Neutrino deflector array, Mark IV. Okay, we're not going to make any changes right now then. But we are going to get back on course to where we were actually attempting to go. So we're all the way here. It looks like we'd gotten almost halfway. So I think that might be the first time ever 
in the history of my playing this game that I've actually fought the Mirror Universe. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> I might be wrong about that, but that's my impression. Summon Freighter, only usable in sector space. Summon Freighter allows mail bank vendor and exchange access. That's cool. So this is our ship, by the way. For those of you who have never been here before for a Star Trek Online uh, stream of mine. It is an Odyssey class, so basically you've got the neck here, the secondary hull the pylons and the nacelles are all odyssey and then the saucer section is kit bashed onto that from the sojourner class it's a combination i really really like because it's a little bit evocative of the galaxy class but without having the sort of turned in on itself really short nacelles that the galaxy class has got i love the galaxy class don't get me wrong but I like the fact that this is a big ship and looks just a little bit sleeker than the Galaxy class while still having that, you know, the floating city in space feel to it. Ah, uh, welcome on in. How's it going? Okay, so I'm not sure what part of the story we're on. We're just kind of heading over there because everything was taking a while on Ryza. I'm a little disappointed in myself that I'm I'm actually streaming Star Trek Online these days, and I've effectively missed the Ryza event. I could do a little bit tonight, but it's going to be over tomorrow morning. Tumor Boy here is this... Oh my... Really, Tumor Boy? The senior environment artist for Star Trek Online worked on the new interiors and such for the... Oh my god. The new Starfleet Academy is so gorgeous. Is that ever going to get integrated into the rest of the game? Because that is so beautiful. <laughs> I love it so much. Never managed to spot the whales. If there are any whales. But I played through... God, <laughs> I had a lot of trouble getting started when I started streaming Star Trek Online, so I ended up going through it like four times on stream. It was kind of funny. And then a couple of times off stream as well. The static version you can access outside the tutorial will get updated to match at some point. That's amazing. I really love the new runabout model that you use at the Academy with all the interiors visible. Ugh. I geeked out about that way too long and made a clip of it. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander, I'm not reading any active vessels on scanners. There is, however, a debris field nearby. It's clustered around a satellite in orbit of the planet, and the composition of the debris corresponds with ships that have gone missing in this region. I'll keep scanning, sir, but we'll need to take a closer look before I can determine if there are Theralon we Thaleron weapons on one of the hulks. I thought Gord would enjoy that bit of info. Apologies if I stepped on any toes. Don't worry. I will try not to inundate you with too many questions. Okay, we have to go investigate all of these ore sites. We'll get back to the story in a moment, but you guys know me. Loot has to come first, even over story. This account is well known at this point. That's really cool. There we are. Ah, 
have no time to scan chips right now. We have hexafluorine gas to get. Okay. I guess now we can get around to the ship. I've actually worked in game development before, so I won't ask any timelines, I will or timetables rather, but I will say I'm really, really looking forward to the day that Star Trek Online starts introducing some strange new worlds content. I really love that series. I would love to see the new version of the Enterprise. I mean, I know it's fundamentally very similar, but there's enough extra detail and enough minor changes that it would be really cool to see that kind of Constitution class, as well as maybe an exploration. I, I guess exploration might be the wrong word, but in this most previous episode, I apologize. I apologize if this is a little bit spoilery at all, but there's a crashed vessel that looks for all the world like a crashed Constitution class ship. And they actually cite it as being a different class of ship, even though it looks pretty much identical to the Constitution class. Uh, I don't remember the name of the class that it was, but it looked like it was decked out as kind of a science ship. Everything on it that was red on the Enterprise, interior and mostly exterior as well seemed to be blue instead of red and it had a much smaller crew it had 99 people assigned to it instead of the 200 some odd that the constitution has so i'm wondering if that's where the class difference comes in it would be really neat to see that kind of thing make its way into the game no worries no worries no worries I know how it is. I, um... Just some technical details. You'll... Has to do with the ships. I won't... I won't say anything, but yeah. There's... There's some stuff to do with ships and ship classes that I'd like to see. That's all. Uh, I'm not detecting the vessel that Obasek sent us to find, but all of the ships in this debris field show signs of being affected by the same thing. A high-frequency energy beam that overloaded all of their systems. If the Riemann ship was hit by that beam, it might have crashed on the planet's surface or gone adrift somewhere else in the system. Okay. I'm detecting energy readings from the satellite, sir. The Riemann crew detect them as well. They should have tried. They could have tried to use it to record a distress signal. We'll need to be closer before I can attempt an uplink with the satellite's communications array. Well, that's a cool-looking effect, but it's a little inconvenient. Uh, can I not shoot? Okay, we have to scan. Um, of course. I don't know why, I seem to have this weird blind spot. I never look here. It takes me forever to realize that it's waiting for my input there. You just finished season two of The Lower Decks? Well, the entire show is weird, but in a great way. I love Lower Decks. Lieutenant Commander, we're stuck. Well, thanks. This beam is holding us like a fly in a spider's web. We've managed to keep life support and environmental systems active, but almost everything else is offline. Shields, weapons, engines, nothing works. I'm not detecting any life signs on the satellite, sir, but there is a compartment with life support. The systems operating the beam must be automated. The chief says we have enough power in the backups for one transport. Recommend we see send a team over to that satellite and find a way to turn the beam off. The 
consoles here appear to control the beam that is draining power from the Alexandria, but there's a security lock preventing access. We need to find a usable console. Okay. Locked. I need the... Oh, hang on. Always gotta go for the loot. That's the one. What do you mean, it's engaged in another operation? Okay, fine. Why does this look familiar? I guess... I, I must have done this before. This is not my first character I've gone through here with, but it's been a while. I don't remember everything. Um, Tavrel, you okay there? New Stargazer. Are we getting a new updated Stargazer? Is that the one from Picard? Because, oh my god, that's amazing. I was so thrilled to see some Star Trek Online stuff make it into the show. That was amazing. Power generator override console. Okay. Pretty proud of getting some ships canonized. Yes, that was incredible. I hope we see more of that happening in the future, especially the Odyssey stuff. I guess I might as well explore until something works. This console doesn't appear to be locked like the others. Whoever did this must not have thought that the console used for inventory control was important. I think I can access a back door into the rest of the satellite's programs from here. I see the problem. The Romulan consoles are causing a lockout by forcing the satellite's primary processors to run through a series of equations and removing key bits of information from the answers, which causes the processors to lock up. If we can solve these equations and input the correct information directly into the consoles, the security lock on the satellite's controls should be released. I've downloaded the corrupted equations into this console for you to work on. Okay. Solve the equations locking the processors. If you need help, consult your bridge officers. Uh, numbers incorrect. Ugh, okay. I would have to come across this on a night when I'm just having brain issues. So, 4,479. No, yeah, 79. 4,479, so that's a 7. Wait. I think I've figured out what we need to do here. If we solve the equations on this screen, then we should have a solution without letters that we can use to figure out what the missing digits are for in each letter. Each letter has four possible values that are represented by the sliders at the bottom. We'll need to manipulate each one until the correct value for each letter is highlighted left of each row. For example, on this first equation, I think the letter A, okay. A.
Patriotic, how goes? It's good to see you. This is your weekend. Well, assuming you're either Canadian or American. Okay, so... Two, one... 1,600... 1,500... 46... So, B is an 8. That can't be right. No, it was... No, it's a three. Is it not a three? Clearly I am... No. Okay. I guess you can just brute force it. I didn't even look at that one. What is that? Uh, okay, good. Next set of equations. This is painful. If I were off stream, I would be able to do this so easily. But I've got too much going on as a streamer to be able to handle this very gracefully. Oh my god. I think I need a calculator. <laughs> oh boy. Yes, but now we're all looking at you, I know. That doesn't help either. Okay, fine. Calculator it is. Don't mind me. Four, six, three, two. So, four, six, three. So, A is three. And... No. For A is six. There. Okay. Okay, so that's 75.25 divided by 43. And what? <laughs> okay, I think I screwed that up. Oh, I, yeah. Um, typo. Uh, I don't think it's negative 23.61.57. That doesn't look right. Seventy five twenty nine. Oh, back. Divided by forty three. That's much better. One hundred and seventy five.
double clicking on that seems to advance it two instead of one when it should only be going two total like it goes three that's weird There we go. Okay. Oh, geez. Okay. Bear with me, folks. Okay, so four five oh one. Wait, did I read that right? That can't be right. No, okay, I typoed something. <sighs> I did, yes. I just corrected the equation. I got a different answer, but... That's the answer that I got. Why is this still wrong? Hmm. Captain, we've solved the equations that were causing issues in the other consoles. Now we need to plug these correct values into the consoles controlling the security lock, and then we should be able to access all of the satellite's major operations. Use the solutions to the equations to release the security lock. I have not patriotic. Actually, I'm not going to. Not today. I'm not feeling terribly well, so save your points, please. Okay, what did that say? All, all satellite operations? This console controls the satellite's general operations. Perhaps we can turn off all of the functions that are affecting our ship. Current power usage level is too high. Well, that's the intent of turning the system off. A satellite operational condition cannot be set to off. Okay, okay. I seem to remember we have to go back into the cage over here. Come on. I'm so glad it's not making me try to remember all those numbers. too high. All right. Anything up here we can turn off?
satellite's targeting function. So I'm not sure if there's a way to disable whatever it is that's disabling systems on our ship. But if we can get this satellite to target something else, we may have a chance at prying our ship free. Uh, okay, select an option. We can go long-range scanners, ship identification program, telemetric data for all identified targets, and targeting control. Objects detected, USS Alexandria currently targeted. That's it. Expand scan range. N -n -n Derelict Hulk. Reclassify Derelict Hulk active. Derelict Hulk reclassified. Actually, let me see that. Okay, 13 and da, 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 da. right. Designate derelict Hulk as primer priority target. Lieutenant Commander, the satellite is ensnared a piece of debris near the ship. Its stranglehold on us is weaker, but we're not out of the woods yet. Critical systems are stable, but we still don't have weapons or long-range communications. You know, I kind of like this mission because it's a bit different from most that you encounter. I like getting a little bit of a break from the combat. I love the combat, don't get me wrong. But I like that they did something, you know, just a smidge different. That's very cool. Hey, Goofball, how are you doing? Update power save modes. Power save mode economical. Oh, I love it. We're going to green state. Life support, environmental, pulse emitter, 15... Beam Displacer 15, Targeting 60. Restore Factory Defaults. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander, we found that if the Alexandria does not attempt to move or fire at the satellite, that it will engage a lower power version of the beam affecting us. It's almost like an energy saving mode. We can use that to our advantage. At least we won't have to worry about life support. We'll hold the ship stable and keep working on boosting power to critical systems while you try to disrupt the satellite's functions and free us. Disrupt the satellite's computer network and free your ship. Okay. I love that. We're using Energy Star against it. Excellent. Off. Systems are coming back online all over the ship. We have weapons, shields, even the replicators are working again. Transporters are standing by, sir. I can beam you back as soon as you're ready. That's cool. I like that. Your summer eventing on Ryza? I just came from Ryza. Oh. <laughs> Fight for your life. Where am I? Okay, we've got scanny stuff we have to look at. Coliseum, one of a kind, that mission. That's okay. Now what? If you fail to comply with command, now we fight you will be or die. Make sure you pick up a melee weapon. All of your gear is deactivated, and I won't protect you in there. Three Z particles. Okay. I guess we're going Batleth. What? Oh, uh, right. I 
I've never seen those weapons used before by anyone in the arena. I think the mercenaries who act as the occasional guard thought that those weapons might actually be worth something, unlike the beat up ones they let us use. My best guess is that they're looking to sell them at some point when their contract here is up for some extra money. All right, let's get over here. Remember to equip your new weapon. We'll see what happens if we just try to keep with this one. Yep, this definitely looks very familiar. You're okay on your own, right? I have scanning I need to do. Damn it! Okay, I guess that's not helping. fun. Uh, there we go. Ow. Just give me one second. Where is it sending me? Wait to be let out. What do you want? Are you enjoying this? I do not wish to continue talking with you. I think you should apologize to me before we continue. I do not wish to continue talking with you. Sorry about what I said. Can we continue? What do you who are you? My name is Slamek. I am part of a resistance. Perhaps you have heard of it? About a week ago, I was part of a crew ferrying weapons from one base to another. When we passed through this system, a satellite disabled our ship. It drifted into the planet's atmosphere. I activated the emergency transporter 
and a few of us were able to transport to safety before the ship crashed in the desert. We were looking for shelter and a way to contact our people when a group of soldiers found us. They took us here and kept throwing us into the arena. Now I'm the only one remaining. That is all I know. You said you were transporting weapons. What happened to them? We were transporting a shipment of Thaleron weapons. I know that your people will not use them. We do not want to, but our fight is getting desperate. We needed to do something, anything, that would shift the tide of war. Even if that choice was horrific. I jettisoned our cargo as we were entering the atmosphere. The weapons were completely destroyed. I've seen what Thaleron weapons are capable of firsthand. I could not allow them to contaminate a world not involved in my people's fight. Any idea who brought you here? I don't know who was responsible for this place. The trainers and the guards all appear to be mercenaries, without any clue about what's going on. They're paid to keep us in cages and look the other way. The night I was brought in, I was interrogated. There were bright lights in my eyes and a synthetic voice asking me questions. Whoever it was took care to conceal his identity. But were there four lights or were there five? That's one way of putting it. Hey, I might have had some streamer specific difficulties with it, but it's a it's a cool concept. I like it. Was that the first time you were interrogated? No. I have been questioned by these people several times before. My reluctance to answer their questions earned me this shock collar. Refusal to help them now is quite painful. Interestingly enough, this was the first time I've been questioned about another participant in the arena. They asked how you treated me, and if you had said anything about why you were here. They even wanted to know if I thought we could become friends. Someone thinks you are very important. Why would they want to know these things? I have no idea what they want with us, or why they make us fight. This all seems like some sort of giant game. But there is no one in the stands to be entertained. Coliseum is unique. Yeah, I've done it before. I just don't remember it very well. It's been a few years. Am I the only person you've been paired with so far? I've had several partners in my battles. You are the only one about which I've been questioned. You must have impressed our masters. I know you have impressed me. Are we the only ones here? Here are the fights. If there are other prisoners, I have never been able to contact them. We are kept separated and caged unless we are fighting. Is there any way out of here? The trainers carry key cards. That's the only way I know to get through the defenses. Think we can get one of those cards? Can I trust you? Yes. I can see that we think the same way, friend. A few years ago, I worked as a bodyguard for a Ferengi merchant. He had a talent for acquiring latinum. And during my time with him, I learned a few things. I was able to lift a key card from one of the trainers during my interrogation. If you help me, I think we can overpower the guards and escape through the main door in the arena. Let's get out of here. Okay. If you fail to comply with commands, you will be punished. Test Aerial 4 activated. A Hala. Well, that looks fun. We need more help! I'll try to free the other prisoners. You fight the worms! No problem.
I guess I, I should probably wait to do that until I'm hurt, shouldn't I? Instead of wasting them. Hello. The consoles on the sides of the arena to fight the elder worm. Hello. Not so. Ow. Ow. Okay, not having all the luck with the console. Can I... Oop, nope. That wasn't so good. <laughs> oh, I love the music. It's so good. Ah, crap. Okay, let's see. Survive in the arena, defeat the Aeleth Worm. Can I... Oh. No key? You have to use the mouse? That's weird. Okay. It feels very epic with this music. It's awesome. It's so good. There we are. Whoops. Just like last time. Use the remaining console on the side of the arena to fight the Elder Worm. Meanwhile, I'll just stand here in a toxic pool of worm spit. No worries. There's another set of consoles by the metal wall. Use them while the worm is distracted. I've been hit. Ah. I can't continue, my friend. You'll need to protect me. Ah. I don't suppose you can help me. Revive! No. Fine.
Oof. I don't suppose we have a console left we can use. Why am I moving so slowly? Actually, I'm reasonably okay right now. Free- oh, free the rest of the prisoners. Can we get in that way then, maybe? Perhaps, just possibly. Oh, that doesn't look right. <laughs> This doesn't look like the correct area, but it does look like a safe place to take a real quick few second long breather until I have to go back out there again. Okay, so right... no, wait, hang on. Fight for your right. Fight... oh, okay, so... I guess that's the name of the mission then. Okay, how do we do the thing? Nope. Not usable. Shoot. Nope. Okay, fine. I think there was another worm left somewhere. You know, other than Mr. Big Obvious one here. Gotta be this, right? No? Anytime you feel like using that key card. Is there something that's supposed to trigger here that's not being triggered? Did I screw something up really badly? I've done this mission so often, I run missions with all your alt. So nice, goofball. I've done it before, so I know you can do it, but... I... I don't see what I'm doing wrong offhand. I mean, I guess... I haven't actually checked this out. Let's go here. I kind of assumed the other prisoners were back here, but it probably makes more sense that they're here. 
I wasn't thinking this was it because... Yeah, okay, release prisoners. Because this is the corridor that I was held in and I didn't see anybody else back there. Oh, there we go. Okay, now there's suddenly people there for reasons. And now we have to defeat the worm. How do we defeat this thing? There's another set of consoles. Okay. By the metal wall. That's what... Okay, so it was these consoles I kept trying to go to. Just not the right time for them. destroyed the metal wall! Run! That's our way out! Excellent. Romulan base? Here? What did they want with us? And what is that device? Project Decimation. New subject, Lieutenant Commander Rylon Remick, captured from USS Alexandria. Initial analysis, subject's threat level is high and risk of escape or intervention in testing is elevated. Notify Colonel Hakeev and escalate to level 6 trials. Project goal, to develop a matrix of Alpha Quadrant species. We must, de must determine which species can be pitted against one another for maximum devastating effect to each. Test will not be limited to sentient species, as the Iconians have technology that will allow us to effectively introduce new flora and fauna to alien worlds. So, basically dinosaurs. Great. Honored Master, it will take some time to complete my report, but I have a few personal observations for you that may prove useful. Please consider them when you make your plans. Humans and Klingons show the greatest proclivity towards fighting when there is no chance of victory. Breaking a Vulcan's emotional control will usually render him helpless. They have no ability to process the emotions that they so zealously suppress. Bajorans will fight to the death to defend homes or loved ones, but may reject a fight that doesn't threaten what they hold dear. Betazoids will detect betrayal almost instantly, but their telepathic senses can be overwhelmed by extreme pain or violent thoughts. This can allow an infiltrator to escape their notice. A possible wedge to break the Klingon Empire may be the Gorn. Wow. <laughs> After Strange New Worlds, that really, uh, that really carries a lot more threat and weight. More than 77% of Gorn captives chose to help another Gorn before assisting a Klingon, even if that choice resulted in the death of the Klingon. Erogen are formidable in single combat, but their fractured society reduces their threat level significantly. I have been unable to separate a Trill symbiote from its host for separate study. Two attempts to implant a symbiote in a host from another species have failed. Both the symbiote and the host died within hours. Undine are quite interesting. I request more time to study this race in greater detail. Records for Prisoner 1478. Captured along with a small group of Freeman soldiers by Desert Patrol, interrogation inconclusive, recommended use of holographic conditioning. Single combat test. Subject was wounded on four occasions but all survived all tests. Prisoner 1478 may be a suitable subject for team testing or alternative study. Forward data to Colonel Hagi for evaluation. Time for you to hit the hay. Have a good night, right, Jim. It's good to see you. I appreciate the raid. All right. Gateway console. It appears as if whoever created this laboratory has rigged controls to an Iconian gateway. You might be able to pull some information off of the logs. Accessing last five destinations. Nopata Base Delta, IRW Leoval, Brea 3, Dara 4, Hefar Listening Post Gamma. Accessing most recent communication. Our master's patience wears thin, Hikiev. Your time grows short, and still you have not provided all the species data that they require. Are you having trouble acquiring targets? I provided you 
with the necessary technology to modify the satellite in the Nopata system, but you were, your little snare is slow. What we need is more test subjects. Perhaps a small colony would be enough. I will contact you again to work out the details. Biometric signature mismatch. Access denied. Disable dampening field. Okay. Now that we have some real weapons and I've disabled my shock collar, let's get out of here. The, that waste pipe has to lead out of this place. That, that sounds great. Wonderful. We'll crawl out through the poop chute then. Sure. Come on. Yeah, come on. Really? Oh, wait a minute. July 30th. I, wow, okay, I am not even remotely close to missing the Ryza event. I totally spaced out and read that as June. We've got tons of time. Watch out. There are Romulan and Scorpion fighters overhead. They're looking for us. We need to move quickly and smartly to avoid detection. I recommend we head to the east. See that mountain in the distance? My ship crashed on the other side. It may have something we can use to signal your vessel. The search for us will only get more intense the longer we stay here. We need to get away from the arena as quickly as possible. Okay. There may be some, you know, little bits of annoying quirks and whatnot in this, but I still gotta say, I enjoy the novelty quite a bit. This is... It's really good. There's a fighter heading straight for us. Quick, take cover in those dark rocks over there and wait for it to pass overhead. Stay still and wait for that fighter to pass overhead. If we are fortunate, they won't detect us. They didn't see us. Let's move on. Okay. I can't go on. My injuries from the arena are too painful. We need to find a place. To rest for a moment. You literally just said, keep going. Two, uh, oh my god. It's 20 after one? What the heck? This plant has analgesic qualities. It won't be as strong as anything you have in the medbay of the Alexandria, but it should take the edge off Slamic's pain. That might be enough to get him on his feet again. This type of plant grows in the shade. Look for it on the sides of hills and cliffs. Collect seed pod sample. Can I... Forgive me, my friend. The pain... I need to rest. Just for a moment. 
My wounds are agonizing. I fear the worm's venom may have infected me. The pain is excruciating. My vision is blurred, and my blood burns in my veins. Before we were captured, my science officer said that the local plants here have medicinal qualities. Please, I need your help. Find something to ease my suffering. I need something to disinfect my wound, something to treat my fever, and anything that will ease my pain. Thank you, my friend. I know that I would have died today if it weren't for you. Find medicinal plants to treat Slamic's injuries. Okay. Now, can I not pick this particular... No? Alright. This plant looks like it would use as an antipyretic. It should help to alleviate Slamic's fever. Unfortunately, this particular plant doesn't look healthy and you aren't getting much sap from it. You will need to find a more robust sample of this plant before you can treat Slamic's injuries. <clears throat> This type of plant likes sunny and windy growing conditions. Look for it at the tops of hills and mountains. This plant looks as it looked like it would work as a disinfectant. It is astringent enough to clear out any possible infection Slamic might have contracted from the worm's attack. But you think you will need more than one sample from this type of plant to deal with an injury as severe as Lamics. This type of plant grows in the washes of the desert. Look for it in large flat areas. Okay, so these ones I can't actually collect. I just have to look for more of the type. Herbaceous plant sample. Nope. Oh, here's more of the things. Okay, so now we just need the branch bark. So how's everyone's week been? I hope you've all had a good one so far. Anyone got any big plans for the weekend? Especially those of us that have long weekends coming up. I don't have huge plans. I do have family over. So I'll be doing a little bit of a cookout thing. That's about it though. Nothing too super fancy. Hammer, how's it going? There we are.
Oh, there you are. Thank you, my friend. I'm feeling better now. I think I can continue. Excellent. Let's carry on then. After all, it's not like we're in a desperate situation or anything. my fancy there we go I feel better with my rifle not the uh, bat left I remember very, very little of this particular mission. I remember that I have done it before, but that's about it. I have no idea what's coming up when it actually ends. How are things going, Hammer? It's good to have you here tonight. I hope you've had a good week so far. The weather isn't going to hold out for too much longer. We should look for a place to spend the night. I've noticed that there are things we can gather along the way to make our night more pleasant. Have you now? survive a night in this desert. We need to find shelter and safety. If we can scavenge provisions to create a camp, we'll have a better chance of reaching the wreckage of my ship alive. What do we need? The temperature is dropping. If we don't find warmth, we risk hypothermia. We can't use a phaser on the rocks here to heat them. They're too porous. We will need firewood. Look to the dry plants. If we can collect tinder, kindling, and logs, we will be able to create a fire that will last through the night. Tinder, kindling, and logs. Okay. This rings a vague bell. Now that it's come up, I think I might remember just a little bit having had to do this.
So that's looking like it's going to be our Kindle. Tactical, find firewood. I got kindling. Oh, that was the kindling. We need tinder. Okay. That looks a lot more like a, an alien appendage. But, alright. Sure, that's nothing to be concerned about. Oh, hello. The worm followed us. Slamak, you coming? No? Fine. Whatever. Quickly. Dropping rapidly now. This cave should protect us from the elements. I've done some exploring. It looks like this cave continues. When the sun rises, the side of the mountain. We can save time and energy by using the passage instead of trying to find a path over the mountain. Excellent. The passage saved us hours. This could walking. be a good day. Let's find my ship. My okay. Ship far from here. I think I can make out smoke from. Wreckage on the horizon. We'll just charge headlong into danger. I'm sure it'll be fine. There she is. She wasn't much to look at, but she was ours. And when we were flying through space, we were free. Perhaps she can help us one last time. That's a heck of a ship. And oddly enough, it doesn't even look all that familiar. Although the scenario around it of finding it, and, you know, I assume we're gonna pick through the wreckage to find something. Well, I guess we'll find out in a moment. I'm sure there's stuff we've got to locate within the wreckage that's going to help us. We should check to see if the emergency beacon survived the crash. But, in the likely event it didn't, we might be able to piece together some components to create a makeshift emergency beacon. Well, let's, let's see. Oh, Iconian artifact, huh? I do not know why Slamic had this on his ship. The materials are not of Romulan or Riemann design. There are traces of protomatter and decalithium, and those are materials used to create the Opus Supernova. Be careful. You do not know who you can trust anymore. 
Okay, so we got our first Iconian artifact in a while. It's been a while since I've seen anything like that. That's fun. Oh, hang on. Are we still looking for something in this area? Oh, of course. Silly me. There is no way this vessel will ever fly again. The damage bot done by the fall through the planet's atmosphere is severe. If the emergency distress beacon wasn't vaporized in the crash, it's probably buried under 30 meters of rock and sand like the Singularity Drive and the cargo bays. You do, however, find a backup generator with a minuscule amount of energy left. If you had the right components, you think you could construct a makeshift subspace beacon to contact your ship. You won't be able to do anything more than transmit a few pulses to let your crew know where you are, but it should do the trick. Based on what Slamek told us about his ship, what if it was carrying something unusual? Navigation beacon, subspace distortion inverter, locate a piece of Iconian tech on the ship, did that. Or actually, no. I guess that was just the indicator that there is some Iconian tech to find. Now I've got to actually go and locate it. Thank you. Okay, I want to go find the Iconian thingy first. We will come back to that. Oh, ooh. Um, probably don't want to jump down there. Usually they put the Delta stuff fairly close by. So I don't know if I'm going the right way to look for something, but... Might as well take a look, I suppose. find something it's not going to be up here oh, I don't think it actually will let me fall down there anyway probably just as well
not know why Slavik had this on his ship. Oh, that was the thing. Okay. I don't know why it didn't tick off the uh, check mark there earlier. But there we are. Attach emergency beacon to the ship's power source. All right. Wait for rescue outside. where I cannot find you. My spies are everywhere. Prisoner 1478, take your place. You did your job admirably. It is good to know at least one Riemann understands who is the master and who is the slave. The loss of the listening post was a minor setback. The Riemann's refuge in the Dara system has been destroyed. Dozens of subjects have been tested in my arena. When the Iconians return, they will find I have done all they have asked, and more. But you will not be there on that dreaded day. This tiresome game ends now. You could have been such a fascinating test subject, but this time, no. This time I think a more direct approach is best. Mm. Ready? Aim? And beam out. No! <laughs> nice. Return to Obisek. I apologize for Slamik's action. I had no idea there was a traitor in our midst. If his actions caused harm to you or your crew, forgive me. That was not my intent. <clears throat> However, your trip to the Nopata system was not in vain. Now you see. Now you know. Hakiv is a pawn of a greater power. The demons of air and darkness are here. You should report to your superiors. Tell them what you have seen here. Open their eyes to the dangers that lurk in the shadows. Riemann Prototype Covariant Shield Array. Very nice. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Additional duty officers are now available. You will receive the following reward. Federation Lieutenant Commander Duty Officer Pack. Starfleet Intelligence has completed its analysis of the data you recovered in the Nopata system. There is a 67.47% chance that the Iconians are using the Tal Shiar as a way to influence the Romulan Star Empire and that their persecution of the Remans is directly related to this. Command is considering lending assistance to Obasek and his forces. But before we come into direct conflict with the Romulans, we want to try a more discreet approach. The data indicates that Hakiv is operating out of the Brea system. Long range Library sensor scans indicate that there may be a major Tashar installation there. We want guest. you to infiltrate this system, apprehend Hakiv, and destroy the Talshar's base. Hakiv must not escape. He may be the only person who knows how extensive the Iconian influence in Romulan space is. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Go to the Brea system in the Beta Quadrant and investigate a Tal Shiar base there. I have new missions for you. Hakiv had an Iconian gateway. Obasek was right. Hakiv had a working Iconian gateway? Fascinating. We already knew that the Iconians survived the destruction of their home world. Now we know that they are active in Romulan space, and apparently using these gladiatorial combats as a way to test the species of the Alpha Quadrant. 
Starfleet Intelligence will analyze the data you recovered from Hakeev's command center. I must confer with Admiral Quinn and Starfleet Command. Conflict with the Romulans and the Iconians may be unavoidable. I have new missions for you. Okay, that can wait just a moment though. I am seriously late for my first break of the evening. So I'm going to break with tradition and transwarp back to Earth. And then I suppose we'll visit the bridge and I'll, uh, I'll just take a little bit of a break. And I'll be back in a few minutes. So thank you everybody for coming and hanging out, whether you're lurking or chatting or anything like that. I really appreciate it. My breaks are usually in the neighborhood of three and a half to five minutes. I'm going to be grabbing a little bit of food. So I might be slightly longer than that, but not by much. Like, we're talking maybe seven or eight minutes maximum. Oh, is that? Oh no, that that's Galaxy Class. I was wondering if that was Ambassador Class or... Um, no, I think... What is that one there? Oh, that's one of the gigantic warships. Okay, okay. Anyway, I could get distracted looking at all these ships all day. Let's head to the bridge. That's not the chair, sir. You're the captain. No! Damn it. That's better. Thank you. All right, guys. Like I said, I'm usually about three and a half to five minutes. I might be as much as maybe seven this time, uh, possibly in that neighborhood. I'll try to keep it short, though, so if you guys need to get up and get yourselves a snack or a drink... Use the facilities, whatever you got to do. This is a really good opportunity to do it, and I'll meet you back here in just a bit. Oh, hi. Sorry, Edgar. Oh, maybe it'll come here. Okay, more locally to you then. Yeah, I... Oh. Whoops. Thanks, Auto Drive. You're down in the grass, huh? Nope. Totally not. You got my back, right? Season. Um... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that was okay. Twenty five percent of it units destroyed, so that means there's only four. Whatever's launching those LRMs is the last. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts in. I should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? You for a little while. That looks so creepy. They're not kidding. This is 
much harder than it should be. I'm going to stick to normal. Ugh, that was atrocious. Wow. Oh, that didn't work. Try again, will you? Come on. You got a shot. Nope, 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 not you. There we go. That's better. Thank you. There you go. There you go. Well, I'm not cold anymore. I stand corrected. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Uh... <laughs> um... That's not good. <laughs> we will have a nice new feature in town soon, it's true. Achievement unlocked. It's heading right for us. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Well, you weren't kidding. That is actually a pretty attractive crater. All right, guys, you ready? Nice. Bastila is a frickin' lifesaver. I'm gonna show you what I've done with Starlight Drive-In. You're out of uniform, sir. Okay, Uthgird, I'm going to need you to be real careful here. No. Yeah. <sighs> you try and warn them. Yeah. Okay. Did I miss something? Yeah. Why is Serana murdering me? Okay, I'm back. All right. Nope, that is the ready room. Oh, oh. Like I said earlier in the stream, I hardly ever look at that corner for some reason. It's like a personal blind spot. Ugh, okay. Now, where were we? We had to go to another system, did we not? I also need to spend some points. I believe I got another point when I got promoted. Okay, so let's see. I have a space point available. We are going to go targeting expertise. Perfect.
All right. Okay, so where are we going now? Go to the Brea system. Ah, let's, uh... Let's be off. Oh, it's a shame I actually had to transwarp back to Seoul. It kind of looks like we were significantly closer before we did that. Oh, well. Not sure what's causing that beeping sound. We don't seem to be passing by anything. Sorry, it's just examining the windows of the ship. I love getting into the little details and things like that. I think it's particularly cool how they have the little sort of... the extruded part down here that they're able to put windows in the sides of. This is definitely not one of those ships where it's, well, okay. There were some up here where it kind of looks like the windows are more of a skylight than an actual window, but that's fine, I guess. I like that they specifically have those on more side surfaces. Oh, thank you, Ebert. How are you doing tonight? Ah, here we go. Brea system dead ahead. Cutting the cord. It's very relaxing, Abert. 
except for a brief math section. Most likely tall Shi'ar vessels. If we're going to reach that planet and beam down safely, we'll have to breach the Romulan defenses. The weapons platforms are probably short range, but we must disable the satellites and any enemy ships in orbit, or any away team that we send to the planet will be in immediate danger. Tactically, it would be wise to draw off the ships and engage them separately from the fixed defenses. We at the, the Library of Lore are proud to announce that a very kind viewer has used their one and only monthly Twitch Prime subscription here. Thank you. Bill Zerb, thank you so heckin' much for 41 frickin' months. That's amazing. How are you doing tonight, Bill? It's so good to see you. Enemy vessel, you are in Romulan space. Leave immediately. Destroyed. It is that time. <laughs> okay. Zidenia, you can handle this, right? I have some magnesite ore I have to scan first, then I'll get in on the combat. Good job. Appreciate that. Excellent. You reprogram the satellites to fire on Romulan targets. It's true. It's a bit of a problem. One of these days, I will learn that I really don't want to fly directly into the exploding vessels that I'm fighting. But today is probably not that day, let's be honest. So, uh, what are we... Oh. Beam down. Okay.
Long range sensors show that Tal Shiar reinforcements are closing on this location. <clears throat> we must be swift. The Tal Shiar base is mobilizing. We need to hurry if we're going to have any chance to find Hakiv and his Iconian connections. I'll meet you on the surface. Okay, let's get down there then. We have a problem. The Tal Shiar are trying to jam transporters. And particle leakage from the strange technology here is affecting our targeting sensors. My scientists can't identify the type of particles yet, but several of my troops are reporting in from different locations. Transporters are being diverted. You're on your own for the moment. My scans show that the Tal Shiar have secured some areas of this base with force fields. You'll have to disable them or find ways around them. A key will be somewhere well defended, but we have him cornered now. Set charges at critical areas and find Hakiv. Sir, I'm having some trouble getting through all of the interference. Away team members are reporting in from all over. I'll try to keep in contact, sir, and we'll organize beachhead teams where possible. Once a team assembles, <coughs> they may be able to use site-to-site -site transport to provide you with reinforcements. All right. Wait, I just... I beamed in alone. Looks like the Talshiar are using force fields and construction supplies to choke off access points. They must have detected us in orbit and they put the base on emergency lockdown. Our orbital scans show that a lot of these buildings have catwalks and balconies. You may be able to use those to get over some of the walls and barricades. Some of our tactical teams made it to the surface with beachhead equipment. You may be able to get support from them. Romulan ships will be here soon though, so we'll have to raise the Alexandria's shields and won't be able to use transporters. Good luck, Lieutenant Commander. Accolade complete, disruptive activity. Oh, God. No! The tribbles are awesome, but I like my inventory space. Okay, might as well take some assistance. Thanks, guys. <clears throat> I like these white uniforms that some of them are wearing. This is awesome. Very nice. That's another thing I really can't wait to see from the Strange New World stuff is brand new uniforms based on the Strange New World's costuming. I love those versions of it. I wouldn't even mind seeing the, you know, the, the Star Trek Discovery versions of the older style uniforms, but I like the Strange New Worlds ones so much more. That's the first charge, sir. I've downloaded virtual markers to your HUD that will show you where to go to place additional charges. Okay. Some help you guys are. Jeez. Hey, I remembered to look in the corner. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Romulans are massing reserves in multiple locations around the base. The Alexandria is in synchronous orbit, Captain. We can provide fire support if... Oh, I remember this. If you supply target coordinates. Call for orbital fire from high vantage points. Optional. I think by optional, they actually meant required. But not, no, you must do it to succeed. But, you know, just... It's awesome, so it's required. Kind of way. Infinity lockbox. One day I'm going to have to actually get a key and open one of these things. There's another catwalk on the other side of this rotunda. To the right, ground level. Our scans indicate the building houses a data facility. Accolade complete, Senator. Wait a minute. Nope, 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 nope. Damn it! I need to scan that thing. Ah. Rude. Damn it. Wow. They're not kidding around. I don't suppose I can call in an airstrike on them. Damn it! I'm almost starting to get the idea that starting fire on them might not be the best plan. Call me crazy, but it, it, it seems to almost be a bit of a problem.
Nope, nothing. Oh, oh. Rude. friendly, right? I think I already helped you kill your opponents. Just a little tip. This is probably not a healthy place to remain. Hakeev's in the promenade outside of a building southwest of your location, but you're separated from him by one of those force fields. There's an access gate on the walkway, but you'll need to disable the force field. If you create a massive power draw at one of the other large facilities, it should temporarily disrupt the field. If you get back on the rooftops, it will give you a better vantage point. Reroute power to disable one of the force fields. I still haven't found a location to call in an airstrike. Sir, Hakeev's in a reinforced section of the base. You'll need to ac an access chip or else the doors won't open. We're reading a forward observer team on the highest building in your area. If you can get to the officer access <laughs> Thanks. That was cool. Oh. Hello. Yes, I would like an orbital strike, please. Oh, wait, wait, oh, hang on. Um. First things first. Now. That'll do. Acquire an access chip from a Romulan officer. I don't suppose there's enough of an officer left down there for me to get an access chip.
Damn it. Offense and perception buff. I guess I should probably try using that more. Nine. Overwatch three. see okay so I've already disabled the forest field so I can cross over now and I can go down on this side of the wall got it It was fun while it lasted. should be able to use the officer's ID chip to bypass the security lock on the access gate in front of the central plaza. Hakeef is directing defense operations from there. Excellent. Thank you. Def uh, but no, wait, I, uh, I could have used your help. I mean, thank you, but... It's so much easier when you have other people fighting on your side. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Much work remains to be done. That is true. We have a problem up here, Lieutenant Commander. Over the last few minutes, the ship has been starting to, has started to suffer a series of cascading system failures. It's nothing serious yet, but it looks like we're being hit by an Iconian virus. We'll purge the computer memory and restore from archives, but that will take some time and we'll continue to have system problems until the work is complete. <coughs> Even if it works, Akif can simply send another virus our way. You'll need to find and destroy the Iconian transmitter before the Alexandria will be secure, sir. Thank you, Ebert. <laughs> yes, indeed, it was. None of this matters. We just need to open the gate, bring the Iconians here, and it will be over. That was Taurus's count, too. And you 
saw how that ended. We finally have the opportunity. Victory is within our grasp. You call this victory? It's over. This is done. You're done. No! We can still finish! You! You're the cause of all of this! Thank you. You don't even understand what you walked into. You're too late to stop it. A lonely being such as yourself cannot even recognize the true power the Iconians represent. And that any future will depend on a place in their regime. All you've done is arrive in time for the end of existence as you know it. Uh. Support. Support, please. Oh, God. Help. Help! Fine. Fool! I can call as many reinforcements as I need. Not now. My ship has put an interference field around this plaza. It's over. Speak with Obisek. I'm a little bummed out that I didn't get to call in another orbital strike, but that's okay. The road to Riemann independence will be long and bloody, but this is a significant step. While I do not seek your approval of my methods, the crossing of our paths has been fortuitous. It's a pity you cannot aid us further in our liberation. You have my respect and the respect of my crew. If in the future we encounter one another again as allies, I would find this gratifying. I must return to the Zedinia. I recommend you finish what you came to do and leave with me. We've located the Iconian computer systems. They're in a research room near the courtyard, ba just back the way you came. Okay. Scan oh, scan the Iconian gate. Interesting. Deploy a... Oh. I can't deploy a worm. I'm not a science officer. Well, let's find out what I can do then. Oh, looky here. Very cool. I really like this, uh, the Delta stuff. It's really fun. A keep was trying to use that gateway to escape. <clears throat> it was set for a location in the Delta Quadrant, but our sensors haven't shown anything in that area but empty space. Obviously, there is something there. Turn to Plaza for beam out. Right. 
the arch. It's a huge Iconian gate. Sir, we have your coordinates, but we can't beam you up until the gate is destroyed. We're still getting strange interference. We are prepared to destroy the large Iconian gate with orbital bombardment. We'll target the war target the warhead yield, but you should get to an area away from the blast. Okay. That was cool. I like that one. I like the orbital bombardment stuff, even if I missed a little bit of it. How are things going, Aburnt? Any big plans for the weekend? You got anything going on for the long weekend, if you indeed have one? Just some fam stuff? Yep, yeah, same here. A little bit of a cookout tomorrow, and that's about it, really. Enemies of the Romulan people, this insurrection will not stand. Your hostile actions against the Romulan colony are acts of war. Surrender now, and you and your crews will be treated fairly as prisoners. We have our work cut out for. Okay, let's see. Clearly, that's not actually going to cut it. Treated fairly. Yes, you certainly could. Another infinity lockbox. How's it going, Mr. Soggy Ramen Tagarung? Hey, did you notice that? I actually went somewhere other than directly towards the ship I was blowing up. Granted, that may have been slightly accidental, but it still happened. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Any big plans for the weekend coming up?
The best holiday there is? Excellent. Just work, 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 just though. Do have the fourth office that falls on a Monday, which is your normal day off. That's terrible, Tagarog. I'm sorry to hear that. Have a good night, Aburnt. Ah, oh, thank you, Greeny. How goes your space universe tonight? It's going pretty good. It's going pretty good. Vacation on Ryza was a little bit underwhelming, but that's mostly because it takes a lot of time. Unfortunately, it looks like the Ryza event is actually going to last for a good month solid, so there's no real rush. Whoa. Sensors are reading a gate opening. There's a ship coming through. Can't get a sensor lock on it. There is. There is one every year. Right around this time. You basically, you do a bunch of vacation stuff, like collect artifacts and take part in hoverboard races and glider races and things like that. And eventually you end up enough tokens you can possibly win a super fancy starship and this year it looks like the super fancy starship is a ship that's designed to resemble you know the space jellyfish from encounter at farpoint the next generation pilot you can fly one of those around and it you can make it look like either the you know the ship form or the actual jellyfish form did Sila just escape or was she kidnapped against her will regardless this gate is deep in Romulan space. It's too risky to leave it in Tal Shiar control, even with Hakeem and the Empress gone. Seasonal MMO events? Yeah. Okay, we have to go scan this ore before we go and blow anything up, so let's give that a shot. How are things going with you, Greeny? By the way, folks, Greeny is not only an exceptional friend of the channel. Can we? Thank you. He is also a fantastic streamer, so please make sure that you go and give Greeny a follow if you are not on indeed already following. I'm sure the vast majority of you are. We are actually under attack. Never mind. 
I think it bounced my torpedo back at me. That's not fair. Oh, Mr. Soggy Robin. If that was another Iconian gateway, that explains how they moved entire fleets. We have to get out of Romulan space and warn Starfleet Command. The Romulan threat may be over for now, but it looks like a bigger threat is looming on the horizon. Starfleet will continue the search for Sela's vessel, but as of right now, we have no idea where the Iconians took her, or if she went willingly. I find this turn of events disturbing. Sela's absence will throw the Romulan Star Empire into even greater chaos. We have found that the Romulans are at their most dangerous when their backs are against the wall. Like wounded Salot cats, they will strike out at anyone in reach, and the Federation may bear the brunt of their fury. The return of the Iconians could change everything. Tractor beam mine launcher or career specific Mark IV kit reward. I Congratulations, have Lieutenant Commander. The darkness before the dawn. The Iconians' presence threatens the Federation. I agree. The Iconians are a cause for concern. Their motives are still unknown to us, as are their plans for the Quadrant. What we do know is that they desire chaos. Many of the problems we currently face can be directly traced back to their machinations. If they had not antagonized the Undine, would we now be at war with the Klingon Empire? It may be that they want the powers of the Quadrant so fractured that we will not be able to unite against them. We cannot allow that to happen. I have new missions for you. Darkness before the dawn. The Federation has offered the Riemann Resistance humanitarian aid, and we are working with them to find diplomatic solutions to their disputes with the Romulans. Obazek <coughs> has asked to speak with you. You can meet his ship in the Hakona system. And once again, please accept my congratulations on a job well done. Travel to the Hakona system, which is located in the Beta Quadrant, and speak with Obasek. I will get experience and expertise. I have new missions for you. Speak with Obasek in the Hakona system. Uh, okay, that is right nearby. You return to the vault. Our base in the Dara system was heavily damaged by the Tal Shiar. We have reactivated the vault, and we will continue to rebuild it. A place that was once used to create weapons of war will now be a home where all are welcome. We will be free. What about the Romulan refugees who live in the vault? I have no quarrel with them. My people fought for freedom and for peace. We can learn to live with the Romulans if they will learn to live with us. We will be free. Do you know what happened to Sila? I do not. I know the Romulan military is searching for her, but there have been no indications of where the demons took her, or what their plans for her are. We don't have an Independence Day, Mr. Sagi Raman. We celebrate the day that we became an official country with the Charter and all. But, uh, you know, aside from that, we celebrate July 1st, the Pretty much the same way you guys celebrate the 4th. 
We have occasional fireworks, although we don't tend to go off so much on individual displays of them. Uh, they tend to be more civic, collective things. And, you know, we do barbecues and cookouts and hot dogs and hamburgers and all that kind of jazz. Do you think Silo is working with the Iconians? My instincts tell me no, but I have no proof. Silo was at odds with the Tal Shiar. I do not think it would have been so if they served the same master. We will be free. What are the Romulans doing now that Sila has disappeared? The petty arguments and plays for power Sila crushed have begun anew. There are dozens who wish to rule the Empire. It will take some time before a new leader arises. Until then, much blood will be shed. Will be tomorrow, Mr. Sagiraman. We're only a couple of hours, well, almost three hours into July 1st so far. So, there's family over. Be doing some barbecuing tomorrow. It'll be a good time. One of your resistance fighters is asked to join my crew. I'd like to take a moment to remind you that breaking the head Lorbrarian with kindness, what? while greatly appreciated, still leaves us with a broken head Lorbrarian. What the hell, Bill? That's amazing. Thank you so much for the bits. Holy crap, that's a lot of bits. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. I wish him well. I never wanted to rule my people, and I put no restrictions on their freedom. If there are Remans who wish to rebuild their lives elsewhere, they are welcome to do so. We will be free. I like this guy, even if he's a little repetitive on the whole, we will be free. But that's fine. What will you do now? My people are free, but there is much more to do. The Romulans hate and fear us, and we do not have a planet to call our own. I do not think our fight is over. We will be free. No more questions. Farewell, my friend. I would welcome the chance to fight by your side again. We will. Very nice. Accolade complete, the Romulan mystery. Captain, Obisek transported something for you to the Alexandria. He says he wanted to give you something to remind you of old friends and new beginnings. I've taken the liberty of having the item moved to the crew lounge. You can see it there. You've received a new floor trophy. Visit the crew deck to place this memento of your adventures on your ship. Sounds like the perfect thing to do before we go on break. Bill, that is way too kind. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Now we want to go to the lounge. So that'll be this way. Excuse me, Captain coming through. There we are. This was some sort of floor thing. Fleet actions, accolades, purchase trophies. Doomsday, Hobus, no kill I. Oh, that's cool. Yep, this is my ship, Mr. Soggy Ramen. Unfortunately, the ship interiors are kind of generic. They look pretty cool. I just wish they were more important to the game as a whole. You know, when I think of Star Trek, yeah, okay, the ship-to-ship -ship combat and the beaming down to alien worlds, that's a big part of it all. But so much of a typical Star Trek episode 
happens on board the ship, talking to the various characters, getting to know them, having stories develop from them, and you know, having visitors on board, and very little of that actually happens in this game, which is unfortunate. It's one of the reasons I'm really looking forward to the new Telltale style game that's coming out later this year. I think that one's going to scratch an itch that even Star Trek Online really can't do. And with any luck, we will be able to um, get more games in a similar vein because of that. Because I love this game. This is really great. Like, the ship combat and all that is fantastic. But that is not the captain's chair. There we go. So this is the bridge of the Alexandria, as I've currently got it configured. That guy there is Coles. He's one of my officers. Um, oh. Hey. Tavrell, what are you doing up here? Usually the Klingon officer is up here. She's my science officer. What? I, what? Everybody moved around. Zarva's over here. Oh, there's the Klingon. Kraleva. Doing sciencey stuff up here. I would always see myself on a smaller vessel. I like the big ships. Who needs a big ship when holodecks are a thing that exists? Well, okay, that's fair. Here's my second in command, my first officer, Elisa Flores. Oh, uh, ship's doctor is over here right now. That's Shyness. She's an ANR. Captain's ready room. I'm just noticing I don't think I have any fish. That's kind of a shame. Oh, never mind. I'm mistaken. They're right here. Attention. Incoming raid. Please report to hospitality stations in a calm and orderly fashion. El Talera, Joduri, and other librarians will aid as need be. Please be ready to disperse library cards. CD, it's so good to see you. How are you doing this evening? Welcome on in, folks. If you are new here, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a lot of story-heavy games with excellent character development and narrative drive as well as strategy games and sandboxy games and lately I've been doing some retro RPG and str and uh, adventure games as well so if any of that sounds good please feel free to hit the follow button I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly too hopefully it won't scare too many of you away welcome on in folks let's get the stream started shall we Whoa! Oh crap. Oh no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh damn it. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh shoot. 69 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh no, 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 no. Oh crap. Okay, that Let's go for it. Oh. Hey, I have not... 
I have not looted that, sir. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around here. CD, thank you so much for bringing your folks over with the raid. How are you doing this evening? What were you up to? Tell me all about your stream. I want to hear all the details. Uh, we are playing some Star Trek online. <laughs> I'm just realizing it's 3 o'clock in the morning and I have not yet taken my second break. I'm a little behind on breaks. Crap. Um... But yeah, things are going okay. Things are going well. Not too bad. Just ended my first look at the new DLC map for Hunter Call of the Wild called Reventuli Coast, set in a beautiful, majestic Finland location, complete with a beautiful look at the northern lights. Oh, that is awesome, CD. That's really cool. The holodeck can simulate the entirety of the Enterprise D for at least five separate individuals. Yeah, well, it's the number of individuals that concerns me. Presumably, you need more than five individuals to justify having a ship out there doing stuff. Which means you've got to, like, I mean, it, maybe that's actually entirely viable for ships sent on missions that require only minimal crew but how many of these would really be okay with that small a crew all right we don't need to be here anymore Watching you from London. How's it going, Sketchy? It's good to see you. I hope your trip is going well. Commander Sarish Minna of Deep Space Nine has requested your assistance with a delicate matter involving Cardassia and Bajor. Report to Commander Sarish in the operations area of Deep Space Nine. It's 8 in the morning here. Oh, that's got to be weird. That's a five-hour time difference, which makes sense. That is about accurate for London. It's 3 in the morning here for me. So, trip is all right so far? Have you managed to do anything, or are you, uh, are you still in the travel phase of it? Uh, a couple cross fields, nice. And my god, I hate this variation of the Galaxy Quest so much. The third nacelle looks terrible. Blech. Okay, anyway. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave us here in sector in uh, in Soul Space for a moment before we warp out to Sector Space. What is that new one there? Oh, he's flying away. Never mind. Okay, that's fine. Ah, you're already at your aunt's house. Oh, that's cool. More ships, assuming less materials to construct in emergencies, the holograms can be turned off or put on minimal processing. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, 
That's a fun idea. I would like to see a TV show or game or something explore at some point, though. I do, I do like the concept. I also like the idea of going on break, since I don't have much time left in the stream to actually do that. So if you guys will bear with me, I'm going to get up and uh, I'm going to run off for a few minutes. So uh, my breaks are usually about three and a half to five minutes or so in length. If you need to get up yourself and get some food or a drink or a snack or anything, this would be a really good opportunity to do so. Uh, so I'll be back in just a moment. Oh, is that another? Oh, that's a sovereign. Very nice. Wow. It's weird that they look so small even compared to a galaxy class. Okay, anyway, back in a few. See me do that? I didn't do that. You can't prove a thing. Oh, they have a fire. I can do some cooking. Un oh, shoot. They catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. I don't even know where to start. Grunt, you apologize to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. Oh boy. By popular opinion, your channel has gifted you 100 tame duck billed platypus. Um. Execute order 66. Oh, good God. Can we go now, please? Oh, crap. Uthgird. You made it mad at me. Oh, going on what at first you will have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests thanks Smilberg. i'll keep an eye out so that's what gratitude sounds like and don't <laughs> let anyone push you around okay if you say so. Helping the chef is the greatest of causes. It's true. It's true. 
What are these clowns thinking they're doing? Oh my god, did I actually get one? Oh, and it's back here again. What the hell was that? What the hell? Achievement unlocked, Legendary Warrior. You're still with us. Take a swim. Ah! What are you looking so smugly self-satisfied for? You just failed. T-Rexes want to eat. They will therefore wander in. Or they might just chase the jeep. Nope, too fast. Darn. Okay, I'm back. Okay, what do we got going on here? That looks like maybe... No, that's not a Kira class, is it? It's like a variant of it, almost. The 100 tame duck-billed platypus in that reaction makes me crack up every time. <laughs> uh, yes. That is a good clip. I like that one. Uh, good old galaxy class there. Not sure what one this is. Oh, actually, I think I do know that might be a Discovery or a ship. What the heck is that? Yikes. Yeah, anyway. Um, we need to go where? We're headed to Deep Space Nine, I believe. Which means we want to warp to Sector. Now, uh, the chipmunk one is still there, Tagarong. It'll come up eventually. We have to go to the Alpha Quadrant for this, so... Let's go to Deneb. We are cleared to enter the Alpha Quadrant. I didn't realize we needed clearance. Yep, that's a fun fact I bet a lot of people aren't quite aware of. Earth is not in the Alpha Quadrant. For all that uh, Voyager talked about getting back to the Alpha Quadrant, we don't actually live there. We're right on the edge, but technically in the Beta Quadrant.
Terra Nova system. Actually, that's a fun bit of trivia that I had meant to bring up during the last Jurassic World Evolution 2 stream. Were you guys aware that dinosaurs lived on the other side of the galaxy from us? Because Mr. Soggy Ramen is right. Stars move and indeed rotate around the center of the galaxy. And it takes so long for a complete solar system revolution around the galactic center that when the dinosaurs were alive, we were halfway around the galaxy from where we are now. It is Vikings. I really like this one. That was one thing I enjoyed about Eve, was just flying around really chill. Yep, I enjoyed it a lot too. I occasionally get flack from chat, or, you know, not from chat in general, but specific people in chat, about taking the slow way and just flying through space, but I like it this way. Honestly, this part is tempting me the most to try this game. I don't blame you, Vikings. I love the ship stuff in it. I will complain, you know, a lot about certain other things, like the fact that you don't really get the interpersonal stuff the way you do in Star Trek episodes, and nobody ever really visits your ship. You don't post dignitaries or special people that you're taking, or when you actually do... You don't really get to interact with them at all. Nothing really happens on the interior parts of the ship. But, you know, I chalk, chalk a lot of that up to engine limitations and all that kind of stuff and the focus of the game being what it is. And, you know, that's all good. I'm sure there will be other games that will deal with the other stuff. They focus a lot on the ship exterior stuff, and man, do they ever get it right. It's so good. This is Deep Space Nine Station Control. Alexandra, we're ready for you to dock. There have been some renovations to the station, Lieutenant Commander, but I'm sure you'll be able to find your way around. Have a pleasant stay. Ah, uh, here we are.
Morn. <laughs> they actually have that as an option. Morn, I could really use your advice. Morn looks at you for a long moment and then returns his attention to his drink. Really? I've never thought about it that way. Alright, thanks, sir. What can I get for you? May I see the menu? Let's get some Chateau Picard. A Sluggo Cola. You have to have Sluggo Cola. Okay. That's what can I get for you? I'm good, thanks. My favorite idea of how life got to Earth is that our star passed through a part of space that was debris from another planet that had life in a single-celled organism made it to Earth's surface and spread from there. Doesn't even have to be debris from a planet. It could be transfer from other planets. Like, there are asteroid impacts on planets in our solar system that spread debris to other planets in the solar system. It's very possible that there's been transfer from Earth to, say, Mars and Venus and other places. Whether anything actually survived and lived there is another question entirely. But it can go the other way as well. We find Martian asteroids and things like that that have crashed on Earth. So who knows, maybe early on, life evolved on one of the other planets and made its way to Earth here from there. Commodity brokers. No, I don't want to go back to the ship. Oh, I just noticed. One space point. Uh, one more promotion and I get to Starfleet Commander. And then I get a new ship, a new trade slot, and permission to buy the next rank of ships. That's going to be fun. I want the turbo lift up to ops, please. Where would you be? What's going on in here? That's the bank. I don't care about the bank. Nope. Because in that theory, life has the potential to spread throughout the galaxy without assistance from technology, also provides common ancestry for most, if not all, life in the galaxy. Yup. I was today years old when I realized that Morn is a reference to Norm from Cheers. Either that, or I forgot I understood the reference during my first DS9 watch through. No, he is very, very definitely, it's been confirmed that he is a Cheers reference. By the way, I, I actually fairly regularly watch Frasier. I tried watching Cheers, and it really just does not hold up anywhere near as well as Frasier does. Like, it, it has not aged particularly well. But Frasier is hilarious, as it's always been. Okay. Oh, it's you I need to talk to. Or, wait, is it not? How can I help you? I was told to report to you. Welcome to Deep Space Nine, and thank you for coming so quickly. During the occupation of Bejor, many sacred artifacts 
artifacts were stolen and studied. After the bajoran cardassian Treaty was signed in 2371, these artifacts were supposed to be returned. However, the Obsidian Order, the Cardassian Military Intelligence Branch, opposed the treaty and apparently hid at least some of these artifacts in their warehouses. We know this because we have been contacted by the Cardassian government. There is a faction among the Cardassians called the True Way that rejects the treaty with the Federation. This organization infiltrated a defunct Obsidian Order facility and stole an orb of the Prophets. I have Frasier on my Plex server. I've been meaning to watch that again. It's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. Gonna hit the sack. Have a good night. Thank you again, Vikings. I really appreciate it. Thank you for stopping by. I will catch you again soon. are precious to our people. They have been given to us by the prophets. They possess mysterious and unusual powers. Many of them grant visions to supplicants. We believe the true way are operating out of a base in the Badlands. We would like you to travel to the Badlands and attempt to recover the orb on behalf of the Bajoran people. I'll track down those responsible for stealing the orb of the prophets. How can I help? Congratulations, Commander. Yay! No more Lieutenant Commander. I'm now a full commander. We're being hailed by Admiral Quinn. Congratulations, Rylan Remak. You've proven yourself to be invaluable to Starfleet and earned the respect of your fellow officers. Return to Earth Space Dock. I would like to formally recognize your contributions to the Federation. This mission will provide access to a powerful free ship. The missions ahead of you will become more challenging. The foes you'll face will be stronger as well. You now have access to a higher tier of gear, weapons, and chips. Helm, plot a course to Earth Space Dock, maximum warp. I am, of course, referring to the helm of Deep Space Nine, since I'm not on board the ship. Wow, do you think they want me to get my ship right away? They dumped me right in front of the new the ship true acquisition thing. The stolen an orb the Obsidian Order <laughs> failed to return after the war. Although we don't know for certain where they have taken it, we have been getting dozens of reports of raiders hitting civilian ships near the Badlands. Starfleet Intelligence believes the raids are related to true way activity in that region. We know that area is a haven for smugglers and criminals of all types. It stands to reason that the True Way are using it to avoid capture as well. They may even be using some of the McKee bases that were abandoned before the Cardassian War. We believe that the Badlands are therefore the most likely place for the True Way to be hiding the stolen orb. I know the Badlands are dangerous, but I have complete confidence in the ship and her crew. Find a true way raiding base in the Badlands in the Alpha Quadrant. You will receive the following reward. Experience, expertise, dilithium, and my choice of a resilient shield array Mark VI. Well, actually, Mark VI is starting to get fairly hefty by my current standards. Regenerative shield array Mark VI. Resonating Tetrion turret Mark VI. Resonating Tetrion du he dual heavy cannons Mark VI. Okay. How can I help you? Well, that, um, <laughs> since I've been transported against my will all the way back to Earth, probably not very well, um, Ms. Sarish Minna, but thank you. <laughs> wow. Congratulations on your promotion, Commander. Admiral Quinn has cleared you to select a ship to command. There are several impressive vessels to choose from. Take a look at my store. The starships that are approved for your rank are listed there. Okay, so we can get <clears throat> we can get the heavy escort, which would be Akira, Oslo, which not I don't really care for the look of that one. The Zypher, that one's. I like it better than the Oslo, but no. 
If I were going to go for any of these, it'd probably be a Cura class. But that's uh, an operations one, so that might not be terrible. There's the advanced... Wait a second here. Hang on. We don't want raptors. We don't want warbirds. Not sure what raiders are, but... Um, heavy cruiser, the Cheyenne. Not really... I don't really care for those. Dakota. Those look okay. Stargazer. Heavy Escort, Akira, Research Vessel, Olympic, Horizon. I actually kind of like the Horizon. The Hope. Not as fond of that one. Olympic Beta. Advanced Research Vessel, the Nebula. And then there's Farragut, Phoenix, and Sutherland, but I don't have those ones. Heavy Cruiser Refit, Constellation, Cheyenne, Dakota, and Stargazer. Heavy Escort Refit, Thunderchild, Akira Oslo Zypher. Temporal Escort, the Perseus, and the Theseus. Advanced Heavy Cruiser, that's basically your Excelsior class. And that's it. I'm not sure what one, we, we do basically have to get one. Usually I go for a Nebula class. just limit ourselves to commander because I do have to get something I don't know any recommendations I kind of like the advanced research vessels I have to admit But this is more appropriate for my up my my command character. Tactical officer. And it's not actually like we're ever gonna use this ship. So let's I've never done Akira before. Congratulations on your new ship. You may want to select your new ship as your active ship. No. Choose the gear equipped on, on your ship. Yes. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> what are we going to name this one? Something library related, like the our main ship is the Alexandria. Uh no daddy. They are not related at all. They are not related at all. Has no relation to Star Wars the Old Republic. 
The UI is similar because it's an MMO, and Star Wars The Old Republic is also very similar. Uh, like, they're, they're both MMOs, and there are very tried-and-true elements to MMO design that developers are aware of, and so you're going to find many of those elements in all MMOs, no matter who develops them. That's probably what you're noticing. Trying to think of other famous libraries. Uh, I guess, actually, I guess we'll call this one the Oxford. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure, Daddy. How are you doing today? It's good to see you. Okay. So we have ourselves an Akira class. Now, let's actually have a look at the Alexandra. Oh, uh, yes. We've opened up a new aft weapon slot and a new engineering console slot. Perfect. Okay, that's a tactical console. Covariate Shield Array Mark IV. <clears throat> so it's basically identical to what I've already got. Just working on handwriting practice after years of having a bad pencil grip that no one corrected when I was young. It makes my hand cramp to just write a single sentence and so I'm changing. That is amazing. Congratulations. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I'm starting to get pretty tired. We're late in the stream at this point. But it's been a really fun night, so it's been worth it. We can get... Deflector up to Mark 9. And that gets expensive, though. Yikes. Mostly, I just want console stuff. Experimental Hyper Excited Ion Stream Projector Mark X. Oh, I can't use that yet. Rear Admiral only. Quantum Mine Launcher Mark IV. I can get rid of some of these. The Mark 1s and 2s, anyway. Probably not going to use that.
I guess we'll put that there. This game looks fun. I've never gotten into Star Trek, but maybe I'll give it a try. It's, uh, it's pretty good. I really enjoy it. Okay, I don't, I just don't have a console to put under engineering, unfortunately. <clears throat> yeah, I have a really good time with this. I don't play it a huge amount. Like, this is my third character that I've taken to any serious degree. But it's, you know, it, it's something that I always enjoy when I get back to it. And I'm not really an MMO kind of guy. I did play The Old Republic. That was pretty fun for a while. The and One other thing I will say that The Old Republic and this game have in common is that it's very easy to play both of them as single-player experiences. You really don't need to group up. And so I'm primarily a single player kind of person, and so these appeal to me greatly for that reason. Um, okay, Spoils of War. We need to head back to the Badlands system, so let's beam back up. Right, so we'll warp back to sector. That's what I loved about Star Wars The Old Republic, especially with all the different storylines and whatnot, depending on what class and faction you chose. Yeah. This is similar in, well, with regards to how single player it is. It doesn't seem to have the same kind of mission variety, but the missions it does have are actually really fun. So, there's that. Is that DC Universe Online? I'm not super familiar with that one, but that's cool. Right. <clears throat> so we were here over at Deep Space Nine. Now we have to head to the Badlands, where I'm certain we will not be mysteriously abducted to the Delta Quadrant by a weird alien caretaker. Yeah, it's actually kind of interesting that it's uh, DC Universe Online that you like, Deity. My understanding is far from perfect, but I am given to understand that Star Trek Online is built on the engine that was originally developed for Champions and before that, uh, City of Heroes. So, there's a little bit of, uh, you know superhero MMO lineage involved in this game. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> Not used to hearing loud noises like that when I'm flying through space. That was weird.
DC Universe Online and Path of Exile are the only two MMOs I go back to. I keep hearing really good things about Path of Exile. Honestly, I keep forgetting that it's an MMO as well. Uh, thank you for being here, Goofball. I really appreciate it. Have yourself a fantastic rest of your night and or day. Deep Space Encounter. Every time I say it's an MMO, someone corrects me that it isn't, but no idea. Well, <clears throat> there is an actual strict definition for what is and it is not an MMO. I say strict, but, you know, there, there's a little bit of wiggle room in it. But basically, it's an MMO if it's designed for many, 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 many massive numbers of players to play at once. Usually that would be thousands. Hundreds might also break into it, but it would have to be a large number of hundreds kind of thing. If it's something that you play on your own or with a, you know, X number of specific people, it's probably not an MMO. For most purposes, though, I, it, it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, Spoils of War in the Badlands. What's the worst that could happen? This one's taken a bit. <clears throat> oh, we're not talking about this CD. The fact that you don't actually play with other people doesn't change the fact that this one has lots of other people my in it. Lord, please welcome my newest follower to the channel. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Yeah, it, it basically CD. This is an MMO, even though it's often sometimes actually specifically difficult to play with other people because there are thousands of other people potentially on the servers with you. <clears throat> the fact that you pretty much never interact with them, in most game modes at least, doesn't really factor into it. It's just, you know, the technical distinction that the game runs with thousands of concurrent players in a shared space makes it an MMO. We've arrived in the Badlands, sir. Our intelligence indicates that this is an area of heavy true way activity. However, the plasma storms and gravitational anomalies interfere with our sensors. We will need to search the Badlands for signs of true way occupation. I am receiving a distress call. To any ships in the vicinity, I am under attack by a group of Cardassian ships identifying themselves as the true way. Please, render assistance immediately. Set a course for the freighter. I've never tried it, so I couldn't really tell you. It might actually be an MMO. It largely depends on how many other people you can potentially be in a server with. But, yeah, how much that matters is really up to you.
thanks for the assistance. I knew I never should have cut through the Badlands, but it takes weeks off my journey. What happened? Well, I was just hauling my cargo through the Badlands, and I passed some strange anomaly. I took a scan of it on my way by, and then a bunch of Cardassian ships appeared out of nowhere. They ordered me to surrender in the name of Gul Kardec in the true way. What'd you do? My freighter is obviously no match for them. I tried to get away, but they disabled my engines. They were just about to board me, I believe, when you arrived. If you're looking for the true way, I would head for that anomaly. Thank you. I'd recommend you repair your engines and exit the area. Okay. Attention, incoming raid. Please report to hospitality stations in a calm and orderly fashion. El Talera, Joduri, and other librarians will aid as need be. Please be ready to disperse library cards. What the heck? Kite McRae, thank you so much for coming in with the raid. Welcome on in, folks. If you've never been here before, welcome to the Library of Lore. How's it going, everybody? Welcome on in, MJTXX21. Uh, Kite, tell me about your stream. What were you up to this evening? How did things go? What's going on? Welcome, everyone. It's good to have you all here. If you've never been here before, the Library of Lore is a place where we play a lot of strategy games and sandboxy games with a particular love for single-player story-driven experiences with excellent narrative and character development. So um, if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. And I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly as well. Hopefully, it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that. Let's go for it. Oh. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. There you go. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. Thank you again so much for the raid. I was playing Craftopia first and then Devil May Cry 5. I've never played a Devil May Cry game, but Craftopia. That sounds like it would be right up my alley. That's definitely something I'd say. Nice. We are on the same page with our loot priority then, it sounds like. We're just playing a little bit of Star Trek Online this evening. I've played this off and on 
more off than on, I admit, but off and on for years now, and I'm having a real good time with this playthrough. It's a lot of fun. A lot of neat stuff in the game, so... Um... Having some trouble going to full... Oh. Okay. I discovered the source of the trouble, and it's sitting in my chair. I was trying to figure out how to go to full impulse, and it turns out it helps if you remember the correct key. That's uh, gonna go so incredibly well for you. Congratulations on engaging me in combat. Are you warning me or them? Oh, oh. Well, I got a new console, but it's a tactical console. I need a new engineering console. This anomaly appears to be some kind of tear in the fabric of the space-time continuum. It appears dormant, but I believe it could be widened to become a portal. I'm detecting traces of orb energy in the area. I believe I might be able to follow it. Here. We've located a trail of orb energy. We're about to follow it. We could use some backup. I will be along in the Thank you, Commander. The trail appears to lead to that moon. Okay. That's no moon. It's a space station. No, wait. It's just a moon. There we go. Oh crap, you know what I forgot to do? I completely forgot to promote my crew. Nothing says you're appreciated like your commanding officer forgetting that you exist and that you're due for a promotion. Destroy base defenses, that kind of looks like we've gotten most of it, um, unless maybe they've got something on the far side of the moon. <laughs> now you know how Harry Kim felt. Yep. Hang on here, hang on. Elsa. Career options. Promote. Lieutenant Commander. Tavril. 
Zarva. Colas. Oh, I have a space for a new officer. Have to see about getting someone. There we go. Hey, Anstara, how's it going? It's good to see you. Ah, there you were, hiding on the other side of the moon. Scans indicate this is a true way moon base. I have located an appropriate place to beam in. Are you ready to beam down? Might as well. Oh, that's true. It is the first now, isn't it? Happy Canada Day. And happy Canada Day to any fellow Canadians out there. Any big plans for the weekend coming up, Ansara? Are you doing anything to celebrate tomorrow or today or, you know, at any point in the next few days? That's an open question anyone can answer, by the way. If you have any weekend plans, I'd love to hear about it. I know a lot of you will be celebrating the first or the fourth as appropriate. <laughs> Thank you, MJ. How are you doing? We've transported inside the True Way base. I am detecting orb energy coming from somewhere nearby. I'm also detecting a number of Cardassian life signs. Looks like we'll have to fight our way through to the orb. Okay. Doing all right, weekend plans are work sadly, but also trying to go to a wedding on Saturday. If I can sneak it past your work schedule, I will keep my fingers crossed for you. That sounds like a pretty exciting weekend though. No special plans. But tomorrow's a day off, so that's good enough for me. Yep, I'm not taking a day off. I have time off coming up. I'll be taking a week in the middle of July. So I will be on...
Stop moving when I'm trying to kill you. That was very cooperative. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Greeny. Thank you. I appreciate that. How are things going with you, Greeny? It's excellent to see you. Sir, my scans indicate that Gulkar Deck has sealed himself in his office, but I believe we can override the lockout at the security console on that podium. That's such a fun bit, Greeny. That's really, really fun. I hope you enjoy. Uh, let's see. Unlock door. Okay, so we have to go this way. to the office. Greetings. I am Gul Kardec. This orb is the property of the Cardassian government. The true Cardassian government. The true way, and you can't have it. Guards! Fools, you will never defeat me. Reciprocal rehabilitation. You son of a... Let's heal up a little bit. Okay. Dear Kardec. What? The pageant lies surprised to receive a message from you. I must commend you on the clever way you opened a pathway to our universe. Oh my god. We shall make good use of it. And you have our gratitude. If we can ever return the favor, let me know. Regarding that other matter you speak of. While we certainly share your detest for the Federation and are willing to assist you in opposing them in theory, there are certain territorial issues we will have to iron out before we feel comfortable committing military forces. Perhaps we can arrange a meeting in the usual place. 
is that mirror, Lita? That's amazing. I don't remember this the last time I did this part. This is really cool. Okay, what else do we have to do? Red alert. Raid incoming. Holy crap. El Joduri and all librarians, please get all viewers and patrons into welcome shelters immediately. Library cards are available for distribution. What the heck, Nobby, coming in with the Starship Legacy Raid. It's so good to see you, Nobby. How are you doing this evening? Welcome on in. Folks, if you do not know Nabi Do, she is a wonderful friend of the channel and streamer, and we've known her for ages, and Nabi, you're amazing. Uh, not only is she an awesome streamer and friend of the channel, though, Nabi is also a fantastic artist, and in fact, she did the two best emotes that I have in my channel. So make sure you go check her out, check out her artwork, check out all the things. Make sure you give her a follow and support her. She is fantastic. Uh, how are you doing, Nabi? How was your stream? What were you up to this evening? What's going on? It's wonderful to have you here. Uh, if you've never been here before, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a lot of single-player narrative-heavy games with excellent story and character development, as well as strategy games and sandboxy games and retro RPG and adventure games. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly as well. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh crap. Oh no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh damn it. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh shoot. 69 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh no, 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 no. Oh crap. Okay, that... Let's go for it. Oh. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around here. So thank you again, Nabi, for coming in with the raid and bringing your folks. It's wonderful to have you here. Uh, super Bowser. No, I don't believe so. I think I might have said the word super, though. That might have caught your attention. Uh, if you've been lurking, if you haven't said anything in chat, I actually make a specific point of never looking at who is in the channel. So I would not be aware that you're even there, let alone calling out your name, because I know there are a lot of people on Twitch who like to watch streams anonymously and not speak up and not be acknowledged. And I respect that very, very much. So if you are lurking, then I will not be aware that you're there, let alone, you know, I'm, I'm never going to call you out of lurk. So... I did. I don't think I actually referred to your name specifically, so no. But 
it is wonderful to have you here now that you've spoken up. Well, it was wonderful before, too. You know what I mean. So let's see. I'm doing well with checking out some new things Genshin released, and we did some art, too. Ah, uh, that is really awesome, Nabi. We are playing some uh, Star Trek Online, which I know kind of goes against the whole story-driven single-player experience thing that I usually go for, but let's be honest. As MMOs go, Star Trek Online is pretty much a single-player experience. <laughs> so I have a lot of fun with it regardless. Personal log. The true way soldiers don't know anything about the Iconians, and I think it's best to keep it that way. This sector is ripe, ripe for destabilization, but the interference of a scattered precursor species would throw all of my plans into disarray. There's some evidence that the Iconians are still alive, so I think it's best not to disturb their link until this galaxy is under the Dominion. Okay. Beam orb to ship. Yeah, it's pretty fun, Nubby. And it's changed a bit since the last time I leveled the character up, so I'm having a good time with it. We have retrieved the orb of possibility, sir. Are you ready to beam up? I am indeed. So I will show off our ship a little bit. It's the one I designed a few weeks back. Probably like a month or two back, honestly. Well, maybe a month. I don't know about two. A month and a half, maybe. I don't know. It's been a little bit. I might be a little biased, but I quite like it. There we go. Sir, incoming hail from Commander Sarish. We are approaching the Badlands. What is your status? We've secured the orb. Gul Kardec has escaped and we're about to attempt to track him. I will be alone in the Defiant momentarily. And may the Prophet smile upon you. And on you, Commander. Looks like I arrived just in time. That was fast. What the hell kind of warp drive do you have? Okay. So this is our ship, the Alexandria. It's a modified Odyssey class. Basically, the neck here, the secondary hull, the pylons, and the nacelles are all Odyssey. The saucer section is taken from the Sojourner class. So it ends up looking kind of like a supersized galaxy ship that's a bit sleeker. The pylons sweep back with the uh, longer nacelles, as opposed to the galaxy class, which has the pylons kind of up about here and the nacelles are really short and sort of tucked in close to the body. So it kind of looks like it's folded in on itself a little bit. All right. Defeat the true way ships.
Sir, I'm detecting a plasma wake leading away from here. I think it belongs to Galkardek's ship. I believe I can modify our deflector dish to emit ionizing radiation which should interact with the plasma wake illuminating it. The illumination effect won't last very long though. We will have to hurry. Make the modifications and prepare to emit radiation on my command. Okay. Uh, it's heading right for the anomaly. Makes sense. Scan the anomaly. Scans indicate that this anomaly has opened into a portal leading to the so-called Mirror Universe, a parallel dimension adjacent to ours. Hold on. Sensors detect ships emerging from the portal. Well, I guess I was wrong earlier when I said I hadn't fought the Mirror Universe before. Clearly, I must have, because I have done this before. There you go. Congratulations on retrieving the orb. You must return it to the temple on Beta. I will notify the vendors that you are on your way. Acknowledged. 
Yep, let's get the hell out of here. Congratulations on your recovery of the orb from Gul Kardec. We request that you return the orb to the temple in Hathon on Bajor. I'm afraid that we have not seen the last of Gal Kardec. But for now, the people of Bajor will be elated at the return of an orb we thought lost forever. Good work. You will receive the following reward. Experience, expertise, dilithium ore, and one of the following. So, resilient shield array mark 6. Regenerative shield array mark 6. Resonating Tetrion Turret Mark VI, or Resonating Tetrion Dual Heavy Cannon Mark VI. I think I want the Shield Array, though. Let's see, so this one has 5,678.3 maximum shield capacity, with 5% absorption and 5% bleed through, with 283.9 shield regeneration every 6 seconds. This one... Slightly less maximum shield capacity, but much faster shield regeneration. I'm going to do the regenerative one. How can Congratulations, I Commander. Yay. There is a new event page for tracking activities and earning special rewards. Open the mission journal to view it. Current event campaign four. Low by store. Okay, featured event, Borg Resurgence, Reflections of Empire, Defense of Pavo, and nothing. These events, these featured events will earn you progress towards your event campaign. Okay. Oh, those are all ended. All right, well, whatever. That's fine. And then there's the seasonal one, the Rhysian Low Knot Low Knot Festival. Okay, anyway, how can I help you? Jabberwocky. You have recovered the Orb of Possibilities from Gul Kardec. No doubt, you are being pursued by True Way forces. You must return the Orb to the Temple in Hathor. I have notified Vedic Prin. <clears throat> she is waiting for you in the Temple. Return the Orb of Possibilities to the Temple in Hathon on Bajor. You will receive the following reward. The customary experience, expertise, and dilithium. Plus, I will get to choose physical augmentation, utility, armor mark six, or energy dampening, or poly alloy weave armor, or a personal shield mark six. So that sounds cool. How can I help you? You can't. Right now, we need to equip our brand new shielding. Okay, so what's this? That's that's a console. Regen ah, this is the new one. Regenerative Shield Array Mark Six. There we are. So, Nabi, if you're still there, and, you know, I understand how it is as a streamer, so if you're not, that's fine. But if you are still there, how was the new Genshin stuff? I'd love to hear about it. Ok, 
Okay, I don't want Deep Space Nine or the Wormhole to the Gamma Quadrant, actually. Where's Bajor itself? There you are. Come on. You can do it. There we go. We've arrived in the Bajor system, sir. We are, sir, detecting Cardassian warp signatures. It's the true way they're heal hailing us. On screen. I am Gul Mutak of the Kriegar, Adjutant General to Gul Kardec. You are carrying stolen property belonging to the true way. Lower your shields and prepare to be boarded. Are you insane? We are in orbit of Bajor. We could have ships here in a moment. He has cut off communications and is powering up weapons. What are your orders, sir? Hail Deep Space Nine. Sarah's here. Commander, we've been ambushed by the True Way in the orbit of Bajor. In the orbit of Bajor? But how could they? <sighs> no, but... Sorry, I'm okay. I will borrow the Defiant and be there momentarily. You were just on the Defiant. Thanks, we'll hold it as long as we can. I'm going to go out on a limb here and suggest that we probably didn't need to call for backup. Oh, there you are, Defiant. It's about time you showed up. Good. You're still in one piece. <laughs> Let's teach these Cardis a lesson. Uh... I appreciate your zeal, Commander, but let's not get carried away. They're already dead. Um. Oh, okay. Never mind. We still have a few.
whatever they're using is really evil. What the hell is it doing to my shielding? Oh, 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 I think I might have just gotten... That's the last of them for now. I will remain in orbit while you return the orb, just in case. We'll beam down in a moment. We have a new console we have to install. Engineering Injector Assembly Mark IV. Plus 3.5 engine power setting. Thank you. That will do. Now what's this? Phaser Dual Beam Bank Mark V. Uncommon Chip 4 Weapon. Yeah, I... I don't know that I necessarily care for this one. I think this is the one that sort of fires the discrete bursts instead of the... Mm. Ah, what the hell. I'll upgrade it. There we go. Photon torpedo. It's a phaser array. I'd rather have an array than a bank, but okay, that's fine. Whatever. Okay. Medic Kryn indicates she is waiting for you at the temple. Well, this seems like it will be very easy. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Is that not the way? Apparently this is not the way. Oh, down this way, right, 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 okay. Oh, no, uh, no. I don't need a mail. Greetings. Do you seek the wisdom of the prophets? I'm looking for a Vedic Kryn. Vedic Kryn is in the temple office. Just to the east of here. Thanks. Uh, yes. How can I help you? Apparently, you can't. It's you I want. There we go. How may I help you? I'm here to return this orb to the temple. Wonderful. The prophets have smiled upon us this day. What was lost has been returned to us. You have done a great service for the Bajoran people today, and we are most grateful. It was an honor and a privilege to carry this burden. Please, place the orb upon the altar. With pleasure. I have returned the Orb of Possibilities. The service rendered is not the service desired. What does not belong cannot be returned. I don't understand. What has been returned does not belong. We must travel backward. When we gaze in the mirror, we see our faces as others do. 
but reversed. Your task abides. You have recovered an orb. Now you must return it. As you must return. Okay. I would be honored to know what the prophets shared with you, if you are willing. Sometimes their visions can be very confusing, and I have some experience interpreting them. It was very cryptic, but they seem to suggest that this is not their orb, that I must return it elsewhere. Elsewhere? But it is an orb of the prophets. Where else could it belong? Unless... Are you familiar with the so-called mirror universe? I know very little about it myself, but there is a book on that table over there by a Vedic Eth describing his experiences. Perhaps it can guide you. Thank you, Vedic Crin. How can I help you? Can you tell me about these books? These are all ancient tomes dealing with the prophets and our history with them. My people have studied the ways of the Celestial Temple for thousands of years. Much of that knowledge has been retained. We are fortunate to have the words of our ancestors preserved in this fashion. I'd like to read them. Exorcism of Boreas, Proclamations of the Prophet Renan, Prophecies of Minos Jora. Be at peace with the world. Only through acceptance of the trials of this existence can you learn from them. Darkness will extinguish the light. Good men will die. The people will be beset by the tribulations and strife. You cannot change these things. The only thing you can change is yourself. Okay, I don't think that's the right one. Observations for the Days of Atonement. The Crime of Love. I don't think any of this is right. How can I help you? Peace be with you. My task is to try to convey the wisdom of the prophets to the people of Pathon. The ways of the Celestial Temple are mysterious. What can be understood, however, is love. The prophet's love surrounds us. It is in every rock and tree of Bajor. It is on a warm summer breeze and in the smile of a loved one. When the emissary walked among us, he was the voice of the prophets. Now it falls to servants like me to try to follow in his footsteps. Are there more books? There are. Okay. Cooking for Fasts, Horan's Seventh Prophecy, Observations for the Gratitude Festival, On the Mirror Universe. I have been fascinated by the existence of this so-called mirror universe ever since our recent contact with it. I have interviewed the emissary, Colonel Kira, and others about their experiences with the mirror universe. But many questions remain. It seems the mirror universe has prophets, but are they the same prophets? There is no mention of a celestial temple, and certainly the mirror Benjamin Sisko was no emissary. I shall petition the Vedic Assembly for permission to enter the mirror universe. The Vedic Assembly has denied my request. Besides the debates about doctrine and theology, the deciding factor was political. The Federation has quarantined any access to the Mirror Universe, and Bajor is seeking membership. I have continued my research by interviews, but my questions remain unanswered. I fear I have no choice but to renounce my seat in the Assembly and pursue entrance to the Mirror Universe on my own. I don't have the technological prowess to create one of those multi-dimensional devices myself, but I have an engineer friend that owes me a favor. I am lucky to be alive. I managed to cross over to the Mirror Universe, but Terok Nor, as they call Deep Space Nine, has been taken over by the Terran Rebellion. They are using it as a base of power, attempting to reassert their control over the Bajor sector. The Jorans are not trusted and are used mostly for mining and ore processing, a cruel irony given Bajor's history in both universes. But I was able to join with the Bajoran workers and get, get some of my questions answered. 
The Bajorans of the Mirror Universe are much like us, and it sounds as if their prophets are also most similar. They even have orbs such as we have here. However, to them, the Celestial Temple is myth or metaphor, not a physical place such as ours. I do not know if this is because it simply hasn't been discovered, or if the prophets of that universe have sealed themselves away for some reason. The only way to find out is to either cross over with a spaceship, or to somehow procure one there. I have received a curious message from somebody in the Mirror Universe offering me assistance. Note, shortly after making this entry, Vedic Eth disappeared and was never heard from again. We believe this orb is from the mirror universe. We think we can pass it we can pass into it through an anomaly we found earlier. Acknowledged. Be careful. The mirror universe is known to be more treacherous than our universe. And you will be cut off from any support here. I appreciate the concern, Commander, but we will be fine. Are you ready to beam up, sir? Yes, beam me up and set course for the Badlands. Uh, actually, just beam me up. Go to the Badlands. I do not want to go to the Badlands right now. In fact, we're going to do our third transwarp of the stream and go back to Earth. Because I just noticed it's getting awfully close to 5 o'clock in the morning. Oh, what the heck? That is a... Holy Jesus, look at that. That looks so cool. That ship is very similar to mine. It's done a little bit different. He doesn't have the same nacelles I've got. Looks like he used the Sojourner ones. But that's really, really nifty. I like it. Very cool. I don't know what the hell they just did to me, but okay, cool. Not sure I love all this extra lining and detailing on the hull, but I don't know. Anyway. Be that as it may. I do believe it is time to find somebody awesome to raid in. I already have a raid target in mind. But let's look at the list just to verify. So let me pull that up. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here tonight. It has been a really fun stream. It is that time. It's like 5 a.m. Who do we have online? Ah, uh, yes. Greeny Trini is on and playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition and attempting to cure the Genophage, apparently. So I don't even think I'm going to bother looking at the rest of the list. I think we're going to go straight over to Greenies, which may be just as well, because a quick scan of the rest of it. There's a few other people on, but let's just go with Greenie. We're going to go with Greenie. Always a good time rating Greenie. So let me get you his link. There you go. Greeny is on. We're going to go visit him, see what he is up to this evening. And I will see you guys again very shortly. So let me get you the raid call as well. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked as our raid call with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, you are always welcome to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you've got emotes of your own, if there are other Twitch streamers emotes, if there are other Twitch emotes that you would like to use, just go ahead and copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So, uh, yeah, let's go visit Greeny, see how Mass Effect is going, see how Curing the Genophage is going. Uh, see if he's completed that by now. Based on his thumbnail, I suspect he's not done yet, so we'll get to see some of that. 
and I will be back tomorrow night. Tomorrow is, um, what is tomorrow? Tomorrow is Friday, so it's, uh, you know, anything goes Friday. Not entirely certain what we're going to be playing on Friday. Haven't decided yet. Uh, whatever it is, it's going to be a good time, though. So, we've got lots of good games on the way, or on the on the go, so I'll, I'll figure something out. It'll be a good time. So, let's get over to Greeny's channel and see how he's doing, and I'll see you over there. So, have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. Really appreciate you spending your time here tonight. I'll catch you again soon. Bye for now. dinosaur park imagined and hopefully not die in the process <laughs> really I don't want to die and now these guys are back what the hell there we go two for one my battle buddies they're in some sort of discharge loop and if I move from this spot they're threatening to blow up she knew I wouldn't know how to fix them if you try to do some repairs, they don't care if you move. It's just me who's stuck. Well, I guess we should help them out. Yes, yes, I knew I liked this fella the minute I saw him. I say leave them. They're pretty heartless for such a pretty lady. I'll take it back. Let's congratulate his wife. <laughs> Ada, really a pretty... He's got so much reach. Holy crap. <laughs> that was the best. <laughs>